Welcome, everybody, to episode 178 of the China Show. That's a long way we've come, baby. Well, 178, huh? Yeah, it's good. It's a good number, isn't it? Thank, yeah, thank yeah. you for joining us. Yeah, yeah. I like seven, 78. I happen to have a 78 Trans Am. That's why I came up with it, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know, one is actually pronounced not... It, in Chinese, is e. But yes. if you want to say like uh like one thing, you say yao, right? Mm -hmm. So you can say yao seventy eight. You yeah, want a yeah, seventy eight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, all that nonsense aside, uh, let's get right into it. We have a lot to cover today, so we're going to start out with what's new, where we talk about everything that's new, specifically with regards to China. Now you prepared the what's new segment. Maybe you could tell me what this is all about over here. Yeah. So this is in uh, Wulan Chabu, which is uh, in Inner Mongolia, in China. Right. Okay. Just to let you know, there are there's, there's Mongolia, the sovereign country, and then there's the part that China took mm -hmm. called Inner Mongolia. I used to live there, loved it. It's kind of like New Mexico and Mexico. Yeah, except uh, the Mongolians. I think a lot of the people in New Mexico probably still want to be part of the U.S. There's probably some people that don't, but yeah. the majority of Mongolians I ever met in Inner Mongolia don't want to be part of China. That's true. Uh, mm. And there's uh, we can confirm this just based on our personal experience, but also based on somebody that we knew that was recently there. Uh, there's a huge security presence, um, almost worse than Xinjiang. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Uh, and I've, I've covered this previously, but China really doesn't want people to know about what's going on in Inner Mongolia because of the way that they suppress the minority people there, the Mongolians there. Yes. Trying to get them to forcefully homo homogenize. They're getting rid of all the Mongolian language schools, mm -hmm. and they want everyone to be and speak Chinese. It's an ethno state. Yeah. They exactly. don't want anyone to know about that, right? No. So journalists are treated especially harshly. Anyway, not related to journalists. Um, these people were trying to go out of the area, trying to leave the, the city, as you do. You know, go yeah. visit someone in Hohat or Baotou mm -hmm. or freaking whatever, Arhai or whatever, mm -hmm. right? This is uh, them trying to leave Wulan Chabu. Yes. And before you leave, they were forcing all the citizens to download the anti-fraud and scam app, mm. which is something that's been going around for a while. They're actually knocking yeah. on people's doors and making them download this. For, um, foreigners are being made yeah. to install this. I've got some friends in, in Shanghai and Beijing, yeah. and they've actually been forced to install yeah. this when they, you know, either they come to their door or they when they go to do something with regards to their visa or yeah. their residence, they have to install this anti-fraud app, which is basically just a Chinese spy app that you get put on your phone. Yeah. That's the thing. I, I, <laughs> I wanted to say that there's the guise is that it's uh, combating crime and making sure you don't get like hit with fraud and all this kind of stuff. What it is, is actually a monitoring app. Mm -hmm. uh, most likely it's trying to make sure that these Mongolian people, they can they know who they're talking to yeah. and what they're doing. You know? See how so they're holding no the, the people's ID cards yeah. over there and writing down their yep, information? Yeah, they're registering people too. Yeah. Like physically <laughs> registering them to make sure they can track their mo movements. They don't want anyone talking to separatists. Yeah, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, exactly. It's pretty crazy. Uh, yeah. And it's getting very North Korea. Yeah. Hey, you know, China's been sliding down this slippery slope. You know, it's... Uh, it's getting it's getting pretty horrible. Yeah, keeping good contact with people in China around China, and just the level of animosity towards foreigners it's is rising. ramping up. It's rising. Yeah, and it's unfortunate. And it's yeah. unfortunately, you know, the kind of people that are still in China right now are the people who really, you know, love China. Mm. They're really trying. A lot of them. Okay. I had a guy reach out the other day, and I just want to make sure that they're fairly represented. He yeah. has to work there for yeah, his he company. Doesn't, doesn't he said, there's a lot of us that love you guys, yeah. us, mm -hmm. and we, we have to still have to be here to sure. like work and stuff. So I don't want to throw out, cast mm. everyone the same thing. I'm just saying in general, the people that I speak to <laughs> yeah, yeah. that are still there, it's because they really want to give China a, a fair true. shake, even though they keep getting beaten down mm. and terrible things happen to them. Hey, more power them, to them. You know, but they, they've... Mm. They really trying their best, but China keeps beating them down. Yeah, you know what I mean. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. What anyway. scenarios? Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, well, I'll get into it in a little bit because I have to okay. ask permission from yeah, some yeah. of these people I if I can say, share their stories because up, yeah. you know you don't want them to be pinpointed. But let's just say there's situations where people are being um, told don't speak English and mm -hmm. things like that. You know, you're in China. It's one of my friends anyway, mm -hmm. and another friend who's like had you know. Basically, his whole building has come to discriminate yeah. against. Anyway, yeah, yeah. we'll we'll talk about that later. Let's talk about him first. Talk. Let's talk about this. What is this? Um, so this this is a, a part of my segment about the Asia Games. Now, the Asia Games are basically like a mini Olympics, right? And <laughs> that's the most lame attempt <laughs> Sorry, at burning a flag I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> anyway. 
Uh, just save it there. I want it. Yeah, I want it. <laughs> I mean, he like really tried <laughs> real hard. All he did was make the sun burn brighter. You know, the that's, Japanese sun burn bright. Yes, that's why I wanted to include this. Um, <laughs> yeah. It was such a fail. But uh, there's a lot of uh, xenophobia going around because think mm. about it. The, the Asia Games are going to include Asian countries. Yes. And Chinese people are constantly being told to hate Japanese and yes. to hate their neighbors and to hate this and that. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of these cases going around. But um, it's interesting. There's been a lot of um, a lot of security. But somehow the security has nothing to do with like burning flags and shouting racist things at Japanese. Yeah. It's all about like making sure people don't like go out or like, you know, disrupt the streets or anything. But you can burn Japanese flags all you want. Of course, it's always a double standard yeah. in, in China. You can do anything that's hateful and disrespectful towards other countries, but yes. it can never be anything that might make China look bad. Yes. Like you couldn't burn a Chinese flag. Imagine like the Japanese fans burning a Chinese flag in China. They'd all be arrested and detain well it gets it gets crazy let's go on the next yeah. slide here okay uh there are these and again this is these are rumors but there's rumors from people in uh in i believe hangzhou mm-hmm. i believe it's hangzhou right that are being forced to put or they come around and they put uh, seal their windows mm-hmm. because as the asia games proceed uh you know the the what's it called the parades and all that kind yeah, of stuff yeah. comes through they don't want people shouting out the window and yeah. disrupting it so they're actually sealing people's they, windows. they did that in shenzhen with the yeah. Um, Olympic torch. I know that's why it's not out of the question. I yeah, just I, I can't a hundred percent confirm it, but people are reporting this. Yeah, I, I'd say that's true. Yeah, I mean, there's somebody with a sealed window. Yeah, but yeah, I'd say that's true because I've seen that happen before. Yes, and we saw it in COVID too. Yeah. At the same time, uh, during the Asia Olympics, now you guys got to understand, there's going to be North Korean athletes, and yes. this is pretty funny. I actually heard this from somebody that had to deal with this kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. When they bring North Korean athletes to different countries to compete yeah. on an international level, they actually black out the bus uh, windows or they'll have curtains where they can't actually see. They don't want the North Korean athletes to look outside and see what other countries look like because they have been constantly told and fed that everywhere in the world sucks and everyone's yeah. dying, it's poor and bad. Yeah, North Korea is the North pinnacle Korea's, of amazingness, yeah. We have to be so harsh on you because you, you have it so good. Yeah, exactly, right? yeah. And the problem with that is that they can't bring their own fans, right? Yes. They're not, you're not allowed to leave North Korea. I mean, tankies will tell you otherwise. You can't yeah. leave. You no. can't go to other countries, right? That's right. So they have to have, like, fans in the crowds. Yes. And they've done this before. But they have uh, – they this guy, one of these guys, was mm-hmm. taking uh, Video. selfie videos. And he was like, why are all the um, North Korean fans singing North Korean songs, but they're, like, Chinese? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, why are they Everyone Chinese? on the Chinese internet is like, that's our Chinese people. That's not North yeah. Korean. Apparently, apparently, and this is not 100% confirmed, but they're, like, students who are learning Korean. Yeah. And so they just kind of went and stood in to be North Korean fans getting paid. Yeah, they got paid. Yeah. It's a job. It is, yeah. Very sad, too, for North Koreans. Yeah. Like, they can't even go watch their own country perform internationally. Yeah, you know, China's not far off. Very close. Knocking on Kim's door. Yeah. The way things are going, unfortunately. Yeah. What an annoying song. (laughs) You know what's funny is that they're... The fans all have like n- like crappy, crappily made North Korean T-shirts, <laughs> like like the stuff that yes. you make. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like yeah. <laughs> it's like my homemade merch. Yeah, they yeah. just like a uh, flag that's like stretched. Yeah, back. exactly. It's like the wrong aspect ratio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you expect? They had to quickly like pump them out the night before. I know. It's really sad though. They have to do this to like make it look like North Korea has a fan base, you know, mm. that was able to travel there. That's right. Yeah. Pretty sad. <laughs> This guy, you can tell he's not impressed. I know, because he knows. He yeah. figured it out. Yeah. He's like, what the hell? And everyone online's like, lol. Yeah. <laughs> These are our Chinese people. Yeah. Yeah, Korean students is the rumor. That would make a lot of sense as to why they could pronounce these things. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, I mean, you get these opportunities. You know, all those singing contests and things like if yeah. you study Mandarin, it's one of the biggest things. They'll take you to events. When I was, I was studying at the Shenzhen University. Yeah. They had this big event where we all went to a stadium to watch and Jackie Chan was there and stuff doing some lame performance. It was actually real bad. Like he, was it? I was I was kind of excited because like I this is like way back 2007. I, lo- I used to love Jackie. Yeah, Chan. and I was like, yeah, I'm going to see a Jackie big Chan. Girl, man. Not yeah, anymore. yeah, no, and then he like did some clown thing on the stage, and it looked ridiculous. And I'm like, well, <laughs> this sucks. And we all had to like do this clapping thing and sing a Chinese song to like, you know, we did this. 
the Shenzhen University. You're a North students. Korean cheerleader for Jackie Chan in China. It was it was some big like it was in Guangzhou, at, like one of the big uh, exhibition things. Where they had a stadium, and there was a huge thing. It had something to do with some Chinese thing. Imagine that as like a clickbait title. I was a North Korean cheerleader for Jackie Chan in China. <laughs> I could yeah. never do that to my audience. No, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, um, but, you know it's great. I wanted to yeah. give one prop before we moved on. Okay. Uh, props to the fake North Koreans. Yeah. For supporting Ukraine. <laughs> oh yes! Look at the colors of the the clappers. Yeah, they obviously, it's a that's a big faux pas. Yeah, North Korea mm. and China very pro Russia, very anti Ukraine. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but thanks yeah. for doing that, guys. Appreciate that. Repping those colors, you know. Yeah. Speaking hey, of which, uh, real merch, dude. Dude, we've got how how much is left? An Let hour. I think this, it's like an hour left. This I is. I kid you not. This is the last, the absolute last call. If anyone There's wants to, one China hour show left. Me. There's mm -hmm. one hour left. It, it, it says two, but it's one now. It's okay. almost one. Um, one hour left to get the official China Show T-shirts, and it mm -hmm. will never be released again. Yeah, absolutely. we are not doing mm -hmm. another campaign. This yeah. is the official. This isn't like a novelty where we have a funny picture on it this time. This is the China Show merch. The shirt. The yes, shirt. The shirt for the show. Mm -hmm. Um, so this is your last, literally the last hour you can get it. Yeah. So, so I'll give you guys a chance. It's uh, everpress.com slash the dash China dash show. Okay. Yeah. Didn't put a title up there. But it's in the description. Okay. Excellent. Um, but that is literally the only shot you got. Yeah. Uh, I would highly recommend getting it right now. If you, uh, Even if you have someone in the family or someone you know that likes the show, buy it as a gift for them now because it'll come probably come in a couple weeks or something. But yeah. uh, buy it now because it will never be released. Yeah, again. again. I'm not even doing fake hype. It will not. It's, a, it's an hour left. Yeah. You know, like when you go to those websites and it's like... <laughs> oh, yeah, one like, hour left. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 60% like discount. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not this. No, this is real. It's real. This is yeah. our campaign. There's only an hour left on the timer. Yeah. It's done after that. So, yes, if you are so inclined, we'd love for you to go and pick up a T-shirt. It'd be wonderful and you support the show. Yes. Um, anyway, what's going on with this pile of junk? So, this also has to do with the uh, Asia Games. So okay. It's crazy. They... Uh, they didn't want anyone disrupting this, right? Yeah. And all also, this is all tied into something else. There was mm -hmm. apparently a Xi Jinping visit to some area. Yeah, I remember that. that. And, and there was some other, there, a lot of the stuff is crossover. Yeah. Uh, it's either Asia games or related to that because what was happening was that when he was showing up to areas, they would shut down the entire area, like the whole ass perimeter. Yeah, right? of course. Like this is beyond Oh, and they stopped Secret Teslas from stuff. going in? Yeah. Like, I have that. Yeah, there, you've yeah. got that in there? Good. Um, this is beyond Secret Service. They were like shutting down like mm. cities basically, right? Yeah, yeah. And anyway, for the Asia Games as well, when people were ordering stuff, you order stuff on Taobao, on JD, on yeah. all these websites, right? It's just kind of like China's Amazon. Yeah. They were <laughs> sending all the packages back so they couldn't be delivered so that nothing could be disrupted in this area. Okay. So people couldn't receive their packages. Mm -hmm. They couldn't open their windows. <laughs> they can't do anything. Yeah, it's really horrible. It is It is getting close to North Korea. You probably couldn't order food either. Of course not, yeah. right? But mm -hmm. what was happening was the companies mm -hmm. sending these packages out, even to yeah. the depots, were getting fined and getting the packages sent back because they're like, no, you're not allowed <laughs> to deliver right now. Wow. Yeah. It's pretty awful. It's pretty wild. So yeah, these are all the packages being returned mm -hmm. um, back. Yeah, look in great condition. Fantastic. Yeah, I I gotta say, you know, the the Chinese Kwai D as they call it, mm -hmm. which is like mm -hmm. the ex Express whatever. It's like DHL type yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's very efficient at getting things places. Quite yeah, quickly. yeah, for sure. But stuff gets destroyed. Yeah, for all sure. All the time. I remember I sent a, a computer to a friend of ours, I, and it was completely destroyed. I do want to say something. What? And I think this is very, very important to understand. Mm -hmm. You know how you can order something on Amazon? Where are we? Are we get it in a couple of days, right? Yeah, we could, you could get it same day sometimes. Sometimes. But like recently, the stuff, I don't know, maybe it's because of Memorial Day or something. We get stuff a little bit slower recently, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But where we are, we can still get stuff even though we're not in a major city. Yes. Right? Because they have distribution centers. They have around, distribution yeah. centers, right? We can still order something and get it usually within a couple of days. Yeah, right? two or three days. Two or three days. Yeah. Now, in China, you have to understand this is all efficient and everything works amazing and all this kind of stuff. If you are in a downtown city center, yes. you, you're not in like some super big outskirt of freaking Ulan Chabu getting yes. your stuff same that, day. That's a very good qualifier because, you know, when you see the, the type of people that wax lyrical about yes. this, yes. they're always living in Shanghai or yeah. Beijing or Shenzhen or some big thing. They're like, mm. wow, look how quick the delivery is, you know, because I yeah. live in Qingdao. It's like, of course, you're in a big center, city yes. center. That's yes. how it works. Right. Yeah, if you're in the rural areas, it does chug along, yeah. you know, at slow pace. And it gets destroyed too. Anyway, what's going on here? 
This one is uh, another forced demolition. Oh, this um, is that woman in there, right? I saw this. Yeah, don't worry. No one's hurt. Yeah. Um, but she did not want her house to be destroyed, but she has no say because remember, I don't want everyone to remember this. You mm -hmm. don't own your house in China. Yes. You, n this is something that a lot of people don't understand because mm -hmm. everybody in China owns a, a, an apartment or a house. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it's got the biggest ownership or something, you know, but it's not ownership. It's leasing. You lease it. And it's a lot of people be like, oh, yeah, you pay like land tax or whatever it is, property tax. It's not the same. When you purchase your house, it's usually an apartment in China. It's just mm -hmm. a concrete box in the sky you've got no rights over the land where it's built you got no rights and you only lease it for 70 years after that 70 years it's not yours anymore no so no anyway so yeah she obviously was living in this house it was built a while ago and they're like well we need to move it now so get out yeah and there she was like no this is where this is my home right and she just wouldn't move they they basically broke it down around her yeah. Imagine owning a house and then the government comes and takes it away from you. I mean, mm. it's just insane. Yeah. Yeah, but that's that's true. China's got such a facade of being like a normal country, but then so you look into the details. Yeah. yeah you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here's, this is yeah, the yeah, Xi Jinping yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah, you can explain. Yeah. I did a video about this, and it's been ramping up more and more. You know. Um, China bans Teslas from any sensitive area yeah, because they see it as a spy, American spying tool, right? Which, let's be honest, any car can be used as a spying tool. All cars these days have got built-in cameras. Te technically. Technically, yeah. yes. All cars can be if you've got like the software installed in it and stuff. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they all have communication built yeah. in. It's pretty easy to set it up. I mean, you could do it without the car. You could yeah. have a live streaming camera. Yeah, I mean, you could just have a live streaming like phone <laughs> on the dashboard I mean. and park I mean. it. Some... People yeah. do that. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, though, like specifically Tesla's got that whole like sentry mode and yeah. stuff, you know, where it's got yeah. cameras all around. So the Chinese government is petrified of these things. They are so scared of Teslas mm. that they do not allow them to go even into a city where there are government officials. You're meeting, right. You're you know? right. They don't do this with any other cars. No. Chinese, you know, the thing is Chinese EVs have got just as many cameras and they're very easy to compromise. They're uh, way worse. If any nefarious government yeah. wanted to compromise a Chinese EV, they can do it pretty easily. Yes. So yes, anyway, this is just, a, it's, a, it's more of a statement. Than yeah. Anything. Just another thing. Um, that They've been banning Teslas from going into certain highways again, and they've been yeah. banning Teslas from going onto certain campuses and all this. But it doesn't go away. You see, like when I made my video, a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, that's that, that's only temporary or something. It's not temporary. It's getting worse. And there are more examples of it yeah. coming out. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, it's just funny because, like, what do we keep hearing about Elon trying to expand business in China yeah. here? I mean, like, yeah, look at how your product's being treated. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yes, unfortunately, that's just the way it's going to be. Now, on to something a little more explosive. Whoa! It's happened yesterday. Yeah. Where was this specific one in this Hebei? This specific one, I have I have some notes here. Yeah, I think it was in Hebei. This is in Chang, Changzhou, Hebei. Changzhou, Hebei, and it's a, a company. There was just this massive explosion. Apparently, a couple of people died. They reported two people died. You they, don't show death, YouTube. No, don't Chill worry. Out. We're just saying, you know, it's something that happened. Um, but that's massive, yeah. quite a big explosion. But you know what's really it's weird? Very, it's is, very common. What's that? It's very common in China. Yeah, it's super common. You know what's really interesting, though, is that on the exact same day, somewhere on the other side of the country, there was another massive explosion. Yeah, this was in uh, Jiaxing City in Zhejiang. Yeah, look at that. On the highway. This one is completely unexplained. Is that same day? Same day. Oh, wow. So just same day, complete opposite ends of the country. This happened to get massive explosions on camera. Um, but yeah, there's no explanation as to what that was. It was on the highway, so it's probably a truck carrying something weird. Yeah. You know, this happened to me once when I was in China. So I was in traffic, and there was a container truck, like a couple of cars ahead of me, and there was this massive explosion, but it was contained. So the whole container kind of went out like this, you know, baula, just yeah, like yeah, expanded. Yeah, yeah. But it was like, bam, like dynamite went off. My entire car shook and everything, and I was like, what's going on? You know what I mean? Anyway, um, yeah, I just thought it was interesting that they happened on the same day. Yeah. Right? Just fast forward past that. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm the guy. Well, driving. I mean, wouldn't that be your reaction? I would say more like, whoa, not, oh, I don't know. I feel like you'd sound like this, though, wouldn't you? Wait, it's coming. Where is he? It's coming eventually. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 
I, I feel I like I gotta say, what's up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do we have that? Oh, yes, of course we do. Yeah. Oh, what's up? I think you would probably say it. Anyway, the fact yes. of the matter is that's pretty scary. Yeah. And the next thing is just stupid and nefarious. Okay. What we have here is a Chinese influencer, you know, it's a typical influencer. And she's waving around a Chinese flag, which whatever, okay? You expect that. Yeah, That's who cares? Kind of, but the, but. <laughs> the thing is, she's doing this in Japan. Yeah. So she's going to like very well-known sites in Japan, okay? And uh, finding, you know, like, I don't know, like Mount Fuji or the Yasukuni Shrine or like all these very well-known things. And then secretly like whipping out this flag and planting the Chinese flag in Japan at all these spots. Which, What's the point of this? What's the point of doing that? You know what I mean? Like you could say, who cares? Find better things to care about. And I understand that. It, in the grand scheme of things, this doesn't matter. But does it not show you the intent of what the Chinese government's been pushing recently? Yeah, exactly. What does this imply? I'm going around to famous locations in a different country, planting it down a, a, and brandishing a national flag. To, yes. To say what? To say I what? Mean, okay, look at, just look at this particular shot over here. Okay, I think, is it just before this? Or just after this? Hang on. I think it was just uh, before She that. wishes she had clear skies like that. <laughs> you know okay. what I mean? She's taking out her So you go it. to a famous place in Japan and you put down the Chinese flag. This yeah. is just ridiculous. Yeah. It's like going to the Great Wall in China and putting down an American Would flag. Would you do that? Absolutely not. Well, first Has of all, done that? First of all, if you try and do that, you're going to get, oh, you're they're just going to come <laughs> mob you. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. It's like, I don't know, going to Israel and putting the, the German flag in the middle of a, yeah. you know, a, one of the big areas, yeah. like a mosque or something. Yeah. Or a, a synagogue. A synagogue. Yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah. You know, sometimes I get confused. Sure. But you know what I mean? It's just very disrespectful. It's like trying to say we've conquered this place. You know what I mean? It's just pathetic. I mean, that's what it implies, yeah, right? Yeah. That's what it implies. That's what it implies. It's like us Chinese own this. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just in very poor taste, but it also ties into the whole Asian Games thing. It ties mm -hmm. into this whole massive nationalist mm -hmm. push that China's Stoking going for nationalism. these days. Yeah, it's like, guess what, guys? We own everything, you know, and uh, everybody has to like kowtow down to us. It's Imagine bad, someone bad look. stood in front of mm -hmm. the Forbidden City, mm -hmm. in front of the Mao statue, and unle unfurled a Japanese flag. Yes, I would call that person a supreme douchebag. Yes. I would say, get out of here. I, I'd probably shout at him. Like, yeah. What are you doing? Or an American flag or whatever. You're not in the right place to be doing that. Nope. Right. That's, that's just disrespectful. Yes. So why are you doing this in Japan? Yeah. Nope. I mean, it's like going to Mao's mausoleum or something yeah. and outside putting a Japanese flag. They would kill you. <laughs> yeah, oh they would just God. kill you. Imagine the mobs. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You'd be flayed. You'd be yeah. Bobby flayed. Yeah, you would. Now, anyway, the thing is, it's just pathetic and it just shows you the tolerance that other countries have in comparison to China. Because if you try to yeah. reverse this Woo! using any flag of any other wow. country, it doesn't matter what country. Oh, no. man. I mean, I, I hate to bring this up over and over again, but I had a small school. Yeah. I had a Chinese flag and an American flag together to show partnership. Yes. Love and friendship. Between yes. The, you know, this is, you come here to learn. We can learn from each other's Yeah, you cultures. learn English. It was yeah. an English school. Yes. <laughs> and I had to take the flag down and I had to change the name. You had to change I it. wasn't allowed to call Manhattan American English. They said that was too political. <laughs> so, but I could call it New York American English. Yeah. What? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's dumb. But yeah, yeah, they forced you to take your little American flag off of your own the school. The censorship board and police mm. showed up. Mm. And that was on my own thing. This and then this. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Free country, not free country. Yeah. Can we lay it out any plainer? Yeah, exactly. It's it's kind of insulting, and it's also hypocritical and stupid, and they're it's, shooting themselves in the foot. It's conquest. It shows yeah. conquest. Yeah, it's and what it's all about. I, I hate to remind everyone of this, mm -hmm. but today the modern imperialist powers are China and Russia. Yeah. I don't know if you guys know this, but they are imperialist countries trying to go to other countries to get their land. Yeah, that's <laughs> the like... only two countries doing it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's very yeah. true. Anyway, it's pathetic. We just thought we'd bring it up because it shows you the zeitgeist right now yeah. in China. Because yeah, that's being rough. shared around and hailed as being amazing. It's true. Anyway, this is fantastic from yes. our subreddit. Well, looks like you're plugging this, eh? Yeah, well, we should. Because it's like an hour left. Yeah, it's true. Um, you know, one of our fantastic artists over on the subreddit made this. Um, Dragonilla. Yeah. Uh, Sarah AI, Huawei Mate 60 uh, body pillow, basically. Yes. Finally. 
a scream slash hug pillow especially designed for Huawei Mate 60 owners. Being a Huawei simp is difficult right now. Let <laughs> Sarah AI's calming smile help you when your hardware and software errors arise. Do you like the Huawei phone with smoke coming yes, out? Of it? Yes, yes, yes. It's, and it's what is amazing. this from? This is from the whole. Uh, yes, young girl and beautiful. You know, Sarah AI. Someone told me that, I guess that, I guess, and this is not my opinion, someone else came up with this. I think that's the official mascot of Huawei. Yeah, pretty Sar- much. Sarah AI? Yeah, Sarah AI is now. I hate her pantsuit. Yeah. <laughs> I hate it. Looks so like much. Hillary Clinton. It really does. <laughs> yeah, but and that's... I don't like the look of that. <laughs> you know what? She she is wearing it. Though. I know that's what I, that's what I like what she Dragonella did with it. I'm saying it's I amazing. don't like the Sarah AI. I like, I would aesthetic. buy one. I wouldn't I wouldn't hug it or anything. No, no, I'd have it on I think, display. I think body pillows are really cringe. <sighs> you probably pissed off a lot of people out I, there. I mean, they're cringe, bro. They're cringe. It's like, wow. You know what I mean? It's wow, it's not just, so good. Yeah, it's like, you know what I mean? Wow, so good. <laughs> anyway. We um, should model that meme so much better because it yeah, ne- there's it nothing never ever shows. in frame. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out, yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, let's let's move on from this fantastic art. and yeah. Oh, what one... a surprise. We need to go to the China show. Oh, how, uh, how much time is left? Let me see. Well, I think it'll probably still say an hour. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's, there's almost no time left. Basically you have to go to everpress.com slash the dash China dash show. And that's it. And it sucks because the people watching this after this, they're not going to be able to buy it. Yeah. So get it right now. Actually, let me pin, cause it's only going to pertain to the chat. Okay. Let me pin it in the chat. All right. Go for it. Um, yeah, go ahead. So, uh, you wanted to talk, isn't, oh, no, no, this is 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 for later. Yeah. Yeah, Okay. I thought so. I was like, why is this coming up now? Let me go past that. Okay. Um, we're going to um move into this whole thing about apple and huawei we've got a lot to talk about today guys there's been a lot of revelations but of course before we do that we always have to tell you that we have a monday show it's a vip show it's called shaban ho and we'd like you all to see what you missed this past monday so let's take a quick look i'll get us out of here and you'll be able to see let's eventually. move on to some more hammy, hammy humor okay <laughs> Wow, they're going for it, aren't they? Some of his clothes were thrown out, out the window. A lot of them were cut up. Some of them were burned. She was too crazy. She lunged at him with a knife. She was in this jealous rage. If you don't go home now, I'm going to walk out into traffic and kill myself. Oh. Yeah, so... You missed uh, the D&D, uh, D&D dice. Yes, yeah. yes. It's funny. Um, we had a good time on Monday. We it was a really do. fun one. Yeah. So for those of you who would like to come and join us, you can go to patreon.com forward slash ADV podcasts. Of course, only if you have the means, we'd love to see you there. It's our favorite part of the week where we really just get to hang out and talk rubbish and cover an interesting topic. We do have real topics. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, it's, it's not, not just, just like a nonsense. shoot show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not just a... It's not one of those show. like, oh, so uh, what did you have what for you... breakfast? Oh, no, it's it's this. It's not this. Um, just waiting for people to get here and chat here. Yeah, it's Let's like, see, oh, are we uh, live? Yeah. Anybody, anybody, anybody have any any questions? questions? <laughs> it's not, a... it's not that we have a, so- a topic. Yes. We cover the topic and then we hang out with you guys. It's we, very fun. We always have interesting and funny clips as and well. We have clips. And a vote clip. And it's stuff we can't cover on YouTube. Number two, I always make this spiel, but it's the best way to support us as yeah. well. If you ever want to know how to support us, because we are fully independent. We don't get paid from any, we have no organization. Yes. The best way to support us is through that patron. Um, Correct. And you also, I, I hate to be, I don't want to be one of those guys like, oh, sign up for my patient and do it out of the kindness of your heart. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. But we give you four episodes a month, one mm-hmm. episode per week of content to, to say thank you for that support. Absolutely. Right. Uh, so patreon.com slash ADV podcast. By the mm-hmm. way, um, I just pinned the Everpress um, okay. uh, merch link. It will literally be done after the show is over. So yeah. this is your only chance to get it. Excellent. It's pinned in the chat right now. Right, guys, so now it's the main part of the show, Soft Power Hour, where we try to change, well, tell you how China tries to change your mind. No, we try to change your In fact, we do try to change yeah. your mind because we want you to see the truth. If you're on the wrong path. Now, something that China's been going on about, as you all know, is this Huawei thing. Okay? Huawei. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd remind you all about this hysteria that's been going on in China. So here's a little bit about what's been going on. <laughs> This guy's got a mullet. Yeah, he's just going on about like, you know, if you love your country, you know, we've got to support Huawei and all that nonsense. Huawei, Huawei! (laughs) This guy is so excited to explain. He can't wait for you. If you 
Listen to what he said. He's, he can't wait to show you how well the Huawei Mate 60 performs. <laughs> and he's like, let's show uh, Huawei to the world. Let's, sh let's show ourselves to the world. The world has to see how great Huawei is. I kind refuse of thing. to believe this guy is taking this seriously. Well, if you watch the whole video, yeah, yeah, which sure. I th thankfully cut the okay. video out, okay. he actually has like side-by-side -side comparisons with the Huawei Mate 60 and some other random older Android phone, and the Huawei Mate 60 is faster, and he's like, he's actually like seriously impressed. I, I, I he's probably no, having no, no, it no, up. No, 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 I'm saying like I want to believe that this guy's parody parodying all the love for the Huawei, like the rab rabid love. I, I would hope so. Yeah, yeah, I hope. I Anyway, I thought this was kind of funny. Okay, check this out. Okay, because maybe you'll notice something here. I'll get us out of here. All right, so... I refuse to believe this. It's too insane. Th there have been it. There have been multiple of this, it. but there's something, you should, there's something you should know what? about this gentleman over here. What? Take a look. I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he has an, an iPhone. iPhone. <laughs> that's an iPhone. And that's and an that's iPhone. That's <laughs> Yes, I mean, if you're going to do that, at least have a freaking Huawei phone in your hand, yeah. not an iPhone 14 or whatever it is. It'd be multiple. Soundtrack. Yeah, it is. There'd be multiple instances, though. I love that. Yeah. See, like it's multiple. It's yeah. No, I know. I Huawei know. has become this like uh, bulwark religious, or whatever. Like a religious this religious symbol. It's, it's like the front lines of nationalism yeah. for China. Yeah. It is now the thing, and they've loved this release of this Huawei Mate 60. It's been the biggest gift to the nationalists Freaking ever. Licking. Yeah, they they're like this shows the rest of the world that you know China is strong. This is a shit phone. <laughs> yes. Sorry, a Huawei Mate yeah. 60 Pro. Yeah, we will get into that a little bit. Okay. <laughs> And you've got like this lame actor. <laughs> this guy, I got a Baxter in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So first. Yeah. I'm Pro Max. Let's look at it. New phone. It's kind of creepy. Gross. Can you go back to the uh, mustache? The, oh, the mustache man? guy. Yeah, I'll go back to him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, it's just a funny uh, we have to explain to people what's going on. Like, yeah, yeah, he, yeah there's he, a backstory on this. Uh, well, uh, this guy's smashing his iPhone because it's the patriotic thing to do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, people don't understand. Yeah. Okay. It's like because right now. He said it's new, by the way, which is a lie. It turns out, by the way, because the reason he's smashing, he made this big scene that. He's an he actor. Bought, yeah, he said he bought a phone from Apple, this, whatever it's, 13, 13 Pro, 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 Max. Pro Max. He bought it. It only lasted a year and a bit, and then it was faulty. And he took it back to Apple, and they said they'd fix it under warranty. But when they opened it up, they, they said, sorry, it's been modified. We can't cover it under warranty. So then he's like, well, screw that. So then he went to smash it. Okay? But on camera, he said, here's an iPhone. It's brand it's new. It's brand new. But then people dug into it, and yeah. then they figured out that he actually bought it from a refurbished store. Yeah. So he bought a refurbished iPhone from some like... So an actor... <laughs> By the way, yeah. backstory in this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's, <laughs> where's your backstory? Funny. Yeah, <laughs> very funny. Mm -hmm. um, he's a semi-famous, like uh, patriotic actor, meaning that he's in pretty much everything he's in, or has acted. It's in. like a communist. It's like a film. commie, yeah. commie thing. It's like uh, you know the the star is red over China, or like uh, yeah. some some uh, serial TV drama where they fight the Japanese, mm -hmm. and you know that kind of thing. Yeah, he's in like tw I think he's like twenty film credits, like that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, exactly. And. Uh, <laughs> People know him because he looks, he's a real Handsome short. man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's a real nugget of a yeah. guy, right? He's a short guy. Yeah. He looks kind of silly. Mm -hmm. kind, you know, it could be on, it could be a Lord of the Rings spinoff. <laughs> sure, you know, sure. Dwarf type Yeah, may, it might be, yeah. And I'm talking about the actual race of dwarves yes. in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, not short people. He could fit, he could fit right into there. Yeah. And uh, he's got the weird mustache. Mm -hmm. I mean, he... I don't even know. This guy's He's a character, right? <laughs> yeah, he's a character. But he apparently was having trouble finding work uh, during COVID because they weren't shooting shows. Yes. And he obviously doesn't make a ton of money. Like, mm -hmm. he's, a, he's a method actor for, like, communist yeah. serial dramas, right? Correct. Not yeah. some of the shit you eat. Yes. The stuff that's, like, episode 11,026. Of you killing know, Japanese. Of killing yeah. Japanese. And he, um, so he was having a hard time finding work. And he went on the... Uh, 
But he's like a party member and stuff, so I yeah. highly doubt he needed money. No, he but didn't he needed need the fame. I think. yeah, he needed people to pay attention he, to him again. Yeah, so he goes on and he started doing like live streams on like Douyin or something. Yeah. Douyin or Kwai Show, I can't remember. And he was selling tea eggs. Yes, um, and tea eggs are like the most basic thing you buy in China. It's, yeah, they're, they're nice. Cheap. They're cheap. They're they're I like hard them. boiled eggs, but they're soaked in like it's soy like sauce. The, it's like the piss eggs, but they're soaked in like yes. a, a tea with soy sauce kind of a you mixture. Show, show it so you can see what it oh, looks yeah, like. Oh yeah, sure. So, Just imagine so this here. is not urine. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> what, what do you oh, mean? No. Imagine, yeah. Yeah. imagine like that. that's mm-hmm. not urine. <laughs> so it's, <laughs> it's eggs that are cracked, yeah, hard boiled, yeah. and then soaked in this. Uh, uh, soy sauce mixture yeah, yeah. and they have like a nice savory taste to it right mm-hmm. but that to sell tea eggs would be a, it's almost a euphemism for being poor yeah because only a poor person would be selling tea eggs on the side of the road it means you're really scraping to get by yeah because the profit margins yeah are you're like so making low. like 50 like, Maybe. cents an egg chinese chinese cents, cents, yeah, yeah. yeah you'd have to sell a thousand of them to like afford anything yeah like a yeah. night out at a restaurant so obviously yeah. the guy didn't need the money to do this. No, he's an like, actor. He was Nonsense, trying to get yeah. like, you know, whatever. Anyway, then he started selling other crap, like low, low, you know, profit margin items. Yeah. And then he got attention, but mm-hmm. he got the wrong kind of attention because then people were like, lol, like this dumbass is selling, yeah, selling TX. TX. eggs. <laughs> what a scumbag. Yeah, exactly. Like the whole Chinese population was making fun of him. And then mm-hmm. he started crying and he was yeah. like, I'm not selling TX to make money. Yeah, exactly. He actually, it had the, the effect that, he should have yeah people are like yeah he's, he's yeah exactly i'll buy some from you to support <laughs> yeah, you yeah, exactly. and he's like i don't i'm not trying to make money from <laughs> tx anyway yeah. this guy is a tradition of trying to get attention you see anyway the thing is um before we even continue with this the chinese government has kind of for a long time done this this thing where they basically banned iphones and foreign yeah. phones from any government job yeah okay and I know people that just work in normal just companies yeah. where the bosses basically tell them, listen, don't bring your iPhones into work anymore. Yeah. We've been told you're not yeah. allowed to. That's so right. Just don't bring them into work anymore. You've got to bring in a, a domestic phone. So you're Huawei right. or you're right. Xiaomi or Oppo or whatever, which is typical of what China does. When they want their own product to succeed, they just ban the foreign product. Yeah. So right yeah. now, of course, the Huawei Mate 60 is making this big push. Yeah. They want the domestic phone to be bought by everyone. And the best way to do that is to ban the opposition. Yeah. So they've put out this mandate, basically. And they've also put out a tentative mandate that they're going to be banning it from any kind of company that has anything to do with China. At the, the, same, government, at yeah. the same time, mm-hmm. China does not want to publicize this because yeah. they want a hospitable uh, business environment for foreign companies yeah. to still invest into China. Yeah. So it's this weird mm-hmm. kind of like... It's they're doing, yeah, approach. they're doing it, but they're not outright doing. Yes. They're doing it behind yes. closed doors. They're trying to discourage people from buying iPhones. Basically, did you put the the state media thing in that shows that dual purpose thing illustrates it very properly, or should we no. talk about it now? No, I we'll didn't. talk about it after the iPhone yeah, yeah, part. Yeah. You know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway, so let's continue. This guy smashes his phone, and a lot of people have been doing this whole thing. Like, I'm no, never buying a iPhone ever again. I'm just going to buy Huawei yeah. or that kind of Pro Max. Guys, <laughs> I'm not selling TA. <laughs> no. Huawei, <laughs> This is just representative of the whole shill scene because pretty much if you go on Twitter or on YouTube, every single shill has been just Huawei this, but broke sh- sanctions, you know? America lost, you if know? If you had software to like Huawei. figure this out, yeah. you could definitely see there was a mandate from the government that oh, told yeah. all these guys to talk about the Huawei. Yeah. Because it was all at the same time. Correct. You know? it, it's crazy the amount of absolute nonsense that's been coming out. And again, I explained this last time, but the whole point behind these uh, big sort of propaganda campaigns from the shills and the government is basically to... Tell the rest of the world, hey, if you don't sell your shit to us, we're going to be forced to innovate. It's not to sell phones. No. Because why would an American or a British YouTuber promote a phone that doesn't exist in their own country? Yeah, can't be sold sold here. Why are you promoting this, right? Yeah, the whole point is they want to try and scare the West into dropping sanctions. And they're like, hey... You know what? We're just going to innovate if you don't sell stuff to us. So you better sell stuff to us. Guess That's what? basically it. Sanctions work. They, and it worked very well in this case. <laughs> anyway, let's continue a little bit because unfortunately, all this hype, all this nationalist crap, all this let's ban the iPhone, 
And remember the Global Times? We mm, showed this last yeah, time. Yeah, oh, the irony is rich. By the way, the Global Times has been nonstop for like a week, just been ragging on Apple, like how crap Apple is and how Huawei is crap so great. Like, yeah, exactly. Right? Take, take a look at this we showed last time, but it's just... You know, these kind of stupid memes. This is the official well, this Chinese press. ties into press. what they're doing now. Yeah, you'll see because yeah. they actually, yeah. Global Times has something else which we're going to show in a minute. Guess what? This crap didn't work. <laughs> that was a loud horn. Yep. Now in China, Shanghai's flagship Apple store saw long queues of people picking up their iPhone 15. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Excited customers lined up at the main gate of the biggest Apple store in Beijing on Friday, oh, waiting no. to purchase the yeah. tech giant's most recent flagship smartphone, iPhone 15. Yeah, so basically, um, the online pre-orders were sold out for the iPhone oh, 15 Pro Max in less, in less than a minute. Less than one minute. All websites that have this option to buy iPhones and stuff were completely sold out. All the pre-orders were sold out. Oh. Okay? The lines and the queues are there, self-evident. So wait a minute. You, you're telling me. Let yeah. me try to wrap my head around this. Yeah. you telling me that a Chinese person would rather spend the same amount of money to buy a phone that has five-year newer technology than the Huawei? Yeah. Because hmm. it turns hmm. out this whole patriotic tax, as they call it, an IQ tax, it works on certain people, right? Yeah, but yeah. people that actually have money in China, they want good quality things, Yeah. okay? And they all know that buying a Huawei, they understand. Okay, by the way, these pictures, you can see who, who I got them from on um, Instagram. He's a he's a proper like photojournalist in Beijing. Oh, nice. And he shared this on his Instagram. He took these pictures for Bloomberg News. Okay, and let's you can, read the thing. It says, uh, iPhone 15 begins sales in Beijing, China. This morning, no signs of Chinese <laughs> nationalism or economic crisis. Yeah. You know? Yeah iPhone is like a cult in China. Yeah. I've never seen in my life. I, I understand Apple products. It's kind of a cult everywhere, to be honest. But in China, it's next level. Yeah. You know, it's a status symbol. Yeah. It always has been a status symbol. And it's people just don't want to settle for less. Mm -hmm. People only ever buy other phones in China if they cannot afford. And yeah, think, and again, I do want to be fair. The average Chinese person not in a city center cannot afford an no, iPhone. No, they can't. That's, they can't. That's outlandish. Yes. Like, that's out of the question. Yep. Uh, so don't think that this is representative of, like, the no. poor people. No, no. China. I'm talking yeah. about middle class yeah. in the cities, you know. Uh, upper class. Ab absolutely. Middle and upper class. They will always have the latest iPhone, the latest iPhone. It's a thing. Yeah. It's almost a religion. Every year they upgrade. It's better. Yeah. <laughs> why would you not buy the better thing? Again, yeah. Why would you not? The iPhone 15 is far superior than it's the like Huawei this. Mate Pro. It's like this. Yeah. The Both phones cost about the same thing, right? Yeah. But it, to put it in perspective of a car, would mm -hmm. you rather have that uh, Range Rover mm -hmm. or the Land Wind, which was the copy worse, worse, everything about it's worse, right? Yeah. It looks similar, yeah. but everything about it, it's got a worse engine. It's got all domestic you know, materials. Yeah. It's not going to last very long, right? Sure. What would you rather have if those both cost the same? Obviously, you'd go for the real product. It's one thing if one is ten grand and one's a hundred grand. Yeah. But if they both cost the same, where's the benefit anymore? Yeah. Right. Exactly. There is no benefit. Um, anyway, as you can see, look at the Global Times all of a sudden I, this, changing their tune. Guys, if you pay attention to one thing in this episode, it's this: the irony. Yeah. So the Global Times. Remember, this is the mouthpiece that was mocking the iPhone. Yes. The whole time and saying like, oh, there's no innovation, it fail. sucks, and Huawei has yeah. destroyed sanctions. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they said, as some foreign media continue to speculate that hashtag Apple may face risks in China. What do you mean foreign media? You did it yourself. <laughs> they did yeah. it. Yeah. Are you speaking about yourself? Mm -hmm. The Global Times observed long queues of consumers at one of Apple's stores in Beijing CBD on Friday for the iPhone 15 pickup. This demonstrate that demonstrates Apple enjoys good business environment in the China. In the China. <laughs> the China. In the China. Yeah. In the China. Yeah, I mean, we can sail the seven seas. Anyway, so once again, this really just shows you how much bs the propaganda is because they just change whenever they but there, want there's two purposes here mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. see the first one didn't the first one didn't work the idea yeah. that iphone sucks yes. iphone doesn't have the same stuff that huawei has yeah huawei will conquer the market because chinese people are patriotic and will buy the huawei yes. over the yes. iphone the iphone's gonna be real bad because yeah. it doesn't do the cool stuff that the huawei does mm -hmm. then 
Chinese people go out and say, what are you talking about? Yeah. We're everywhere. We're buying the iPhone. They vote with their feet. You can't hide that. No, you can't hide it. There's a lot of things in China they'll domestically try to hide things like this. But for the English language media that they're trying to get us and everyone else to see, they can't hide that. They've seen the lines. They've seen the footage, right? Yeah. So now what do they do? They say, oh, well, actually, iPhone's fine. Yeah. And look, the economy's doing well. Yeah. And look, you should everyone's, invest. everyone's gotta... lining up. It's a conducive business environment to do business yes. in China. Everything yes. is a okay. Yeah, which is a bunch of nonsense. Yeah, yeah, to it's the moon. it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, the moon. The moon. <laughs> you know, here's here's the thing: the amount of uh, media that's been coming out saying that iPhone's going to fail in China. iPhone 15, no one cares about it yeah. anymore. They've lost interest. It's not going to sell because Huawei's just come out and, you know, yeah. all this kind of stuff. There was a lot of that. A lot of the shills put stuff out like that. A lot of the Chinese media and even foreign media. Yeah. Because you know what? A lot of foreign media, they're kind of bought and paid for in a lot of ways by the, the Chinese yeah. influence. Maybe if it's not direct, it's yeah. just because they want to hit certain eyes. Yeah. And, or they yeah. see the trends and they yeah. get the... The thing is, all foreign media has to get their information from Chinese media. Yeah, it's not even the media outlet's fault. There's a lot of yeah. amazing information coming out of yes. great big outlets. But you saw a lot of the uh, foreign like yeah. media fawning over the new Huawei, like sure. how it's just destroyed, like, you For know, sure. and it's going to really put a damper on Apple sales. And you know what? Even Apple stock dived massively because dove, of all yeah. this news. Yeah, dived, dove. <laughs> yeah, it dove. It dived sometimes. It's the cliffs of Dover. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, it <laughs> dove. Yeah. Their, their uh, shares dove. Yeah. Well, Dividend. Yeah. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Divided. They, <laughs> they went down. Yeah. Okay. Went the down. shares went down because of all this negative news. Shall I? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, and it. It's. You see how it works, right? Yes. It's yes. just they pump this out. It's so true. It's like it went with COVID. All the information when it comes from that one source of China. It's, it's no one's fault. Yeah. You have to take what they say. I do think I see a lot of great big media outlets doing investigative journalism like we, we'll see later with that human rights thing we're yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah. But like when it comes to like products or figures and stuff, there's nothing else to go yeah. on other than Chinese government figures. Correct. Right? Anyway, let's um, let's see what's uh, really going on. Here's a Huawei store. There's no one in the Huawei store. And this was taken... Before the iPhone 15 sale, this is like uh, a from from a couple days ago. Oh the gosh. Apple Store was full of people still looking, even though the iPhone 15 hadn't been released. This is from like three days ago. You know what's weird is there's still like a little piece of me that's rooting for like this to work because it's like an underdog. It's like oh, you know, but it's what, just Huawei. The, yeah, the, no, not Huawei. Just like in general, like something to be proud of for, for China and stuff. Sure. But it's it's bad. It's but not a good product. You shouldn't be proud of something that's completely based on theft. That's what I'm saying. You can't and it's inferior. Be. You can't be proud no, of it. No, you that. can't. Right. And it uses a bunch of foreign bits anyway. Yeah, I want to quote somebody that you showed me the other day. It was a yeah. Chinese influencer. He, uh, he said, the lens of the camera on the Huawei mm -hmm. is made by Leica, which is German. Yes, yes. And the camera itself is yeah, made, sensor, licensed yeah. by Sony. It's made by Sony. So every picture, I mean, but they license yeah, to use yeah. it. Every picture you take with a Huawei Mate 60 Pro is made in Japan. Yes, So I know. what are you proud of? Yeah, exactly. And I thought he said it better than I, I ever yeah. could. Yeah, I think that's actually a very good point. Yeah. Because, you know, considering right now China's boycotting all the Japanese products because mm. of the whole nuclear mm. water thing, you would think they'd boycott Huawei since it's got, you know, Japanese camera in it. Yeah. And other Japanese well, parts. I mean, what are you proud of then? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it's kind of silly. Now, we cannot... Talk about Apple and China without this. Now, this happened just before the iPhone yeah. 15 was sold. So remember, prior to, because say iPhone 15 only went on sale like today, yes. right? Pretty much, yeah. you know, today in China, which was, you know, about like 10 hours, whatever, 20 yeah. hours ago, whatever. Prior to that, the amount of media and nationalist crap that was coming out of China to say how bad Apple is and how good Huawei is led to this kind of mass hysteria. Yeah. Okay, so not only did you have these people predicting that Apple wouldn't sell anything and Huawei is only going to sell all this crap, you had it's over. You had stuff like this. <laughs> now this is really ridiculous. Chinese netizens started to attack Apple to say that Apple purposefully on the Chinese website put an ugly-looking Chinese well Asian person. Okay, that, they said that. Yeah, they said, and that was a popular opinion. Yeah, and okay, here was what the narrative was. The narrative was is that Apple on purpose picked a picture of an ugly Asian Chinese person and put it on only the Chinese website, okay, the Chinese Apple website, to insult Chinese people. 
That was literally, if you can read the Chinese, that's what they're saying, okay? Now, um, first of all, yeah. they were saying that the person, if you look at the person in the pictures, it's like a they've got like the, the ponytail, right? Yeah. And they were saying they're trying to stereotype Chinese people like Qing Dynasty, yeah. uh, you know, Chinese people, yeah. the way that those like, Top knot. F- like back in the like, day, those, yeah, that, that, we, that's, yeah, that, whatever that yeah. was called, that, this, that haircut. This haircut, yeah. which, I mean, let's, let's be honest, it's kind of dumb, okay? It's a dumb haircut, okay? It is just dumb, like. What's your theory about that? My theory of this hairstyle, okay, and hear me out here, is that the emperor was going bald, okay? And he probably had a mad, bad widow's peak. And so he didn't want to look bad, so he forced everyone else to shave their head so that, you know, they look the same as him. I'm, I'm dead serious. It's going to be something like that. That's my theory. My devil's advocate here is that <laughs> their that's bad haircuts a... have been all... Think about it sure. like a page boy, like a little Lord yeah, but... Butler. What about mullets? Mullets yes, are coming okay, back. Okay, I get it, but you don't shave half... You know how hard that is to maintain? Mullets look worse than this to me. Really? Mullets are horrific. Why would you be half bald? Half, I think there's it's like a half moon cookie. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just got, I just got, this is my theory. Yes. It's just in a theory, but bring I really it, think. Bringing yeah. it back yeah. has nothing to do okay. with this. But, okay, the reason why they're insulted by this idea that someone would have a hairstyle like this from the Qing yeah, dynasty. Yeah, that's the excuse. Is that in a lot of, you know, the whole century of humiliation? Yeah. Yeah. Whenever you see like opium dens yeah. and people smoking opium, they, they always have this hairstyle because it's from that time. Sure. Okay? And a lot of those sort of racist yellow peril cartoons yeah. and stuff use that kind of hairstyle because right. that, that's what Chinese people looked like back then. Right. They all had that hairstyle. Right. You know? So they're saying that Apple on purpose put someone with that hairstyle to basically insult China on I the mean, website. That is just shocking yes. that someone could have that opinion. But it went it gets better. viral. It gets better. Yeah, though. it does. So it went viral across all of China that Apple was doing this only on the Chinese website and only to insult China. Turns out this picture of this person was on all Apple websites, not the Chinese one only. And the icing on the cake is that it wasn't even a Chinese person. It wasn't even an Asian person. It was a Native American woman. Native American. So they... Indian. They had... Well, they're Native American. Yeah, uh, Indians, right? Not from India. No, no. <laughs> anyway, yes. You know, American Indian. Yeah, Na- American Indians. Yeah. Native American. They. So you're yeah. saying the Chinese you can't, you can't public... Say Indian? I think it's it's falling out of favor. I don't think is it's it? bad. Really? I just think it's falling out of favor. So it's cowboys and Native Americans... I think it, in, it doesn't matter. I'm just talking, saying, can, okay. I, can I go on my yeah, point? Please, oh, please. gee, Willick. Please do. Oh, derail yeah. over there. Oh, man. Anyway, um, so the Chinese populace got up into a nationalist fervor. Yes. Blaming Apple right before the launch to yes. try to t- tarnish Apple's Yes, again, image. trying to attack Apple, yeah. By saying that an image that they used across all of their platforms of an employee at Apple. Yep. Who was Native American was done on purpose to make Chinese people look bad. Yes. And then what was the response when the truth came out? They still had like polls to vote whether or not this was an appropriate image or not. And the vast majority of people said that it was an inappropriate image. And people, <laughs> were, say- people were saying things like, it doesn't matter if they're, they're Native American, they still did it on purpose and it makes me feel uncomfortable. And they did it, they should take our Chinese people's feelings into consideration. So... <laughs> Still, it's bad that a human being who is not Chinese, their image was used on their own company's website because you should worry about if Chinese people are going to find it offensive. Yeah. That's one of the most ridiculous, stupid things I've heard this year. Not only is it stupid, it's incredibly insulting and racist towards (laughs) Native Americans because you basically just call them ugly. Yeah. And not worthy of looking like Chinese people. Yes. That's what they said. Yeah. It's... It's like holy crap, man! It's not—they're not even Chinese, you know. You, not even like Asian. So what are you doing here? I'm not into this whole like cancel identity, this or that. Mm. But if I was a Native American, I would be pretty mad. Yeah, I would be like, what? What? Exactly. What? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but again, the only country where you can get away with such blatant racism and nonsense like this is China, because for some reason they get a free pass. You know what I mean? Nobody cares. Yeah. It's nationwide, huge polls, huge amounts of stuff Nationwide going on. is not on your side. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shout out to our Native yeah. American audience, by the way. We met a few of you guys in uh, a couple of places on our sub yep, and absolutely. It was awesome to, to learn some stuff from you guys. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, so I got to tell you, man, it's just uh, it, it's it's a clown show. They were trying everything to bring Apple down, and that's just one of these stupid things. Yeah. Anyway, um, this is another <laughs> thing that just kind of happened. You know, Huawei set up a massive big store in Vienna, okay, yes. a flagship store in Vienna. But it apparently recently just quietly closed and was renamed to Zero on Google Maps. Hmm. Interesting that. Austria is not a uh, enemy of China, by the way. This is a country yeah. that used part of Huawei to roll out their 5G network yeah. and stuff. This is not a country that's like opposed. Yeah, to... they can still sell Huawei. Yeah, this there. isn't like, uh, oh, we got to shut everything down because we got to follow whatever law. Sanctions Austria's, or something. Yeah, yeah Austria is doing, they like to do their own thing. <laughs> that's uh, right. Probably the spy hub of the world, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, oh, what's that city? What's Don't the main know. city Vienna. in Austria? Vienna, yeah. That's where all like the spies from other countries meet, apparently. Interesting. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's kind of cool. You know what's not cool is this... I like Vienna uh, sausages. They come from there. <laughs> what? Ser seriously? That's like when you're on food stamps, bro. <laughs> Vienna sausages, Yeah, bro. dude. Meat logs. Yeah. Have you ever seen them called meat logs? No. I've seen no. them called meat logs. Really? Yeah. I feel like... Uh, if you get real ones from Vienna, they're probably good. I bet they're excellent <laughs> sure. if you go to Vienna to get them. Yeah. 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 Anyway, bring it back to you. Sure, sure. We're getting sure. off track. Okay. Um, very interesting to see these uh, close without a trace and that there was no hubbub around. Yeah. It. yeah. I don't, Huawei oh, doesn't want people to know that, hey, you know, our, our shops across the world are potentially closing down here. Yep. <clears throat> so. Especially since they're apparently just amazing world leaders in technology. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Here's the thing, though, okay? Let's let's be real about the Huawei Mate 60. There have been quite a few videos coming out on how bad they are. Yes. Okay? Yes. I'm sure lots of people have been having mediocre to acceptable experiences with their Huawei Mate 60s. Yeah. But I thought I'd just throw one or two in here. They've been hanging. Look at this. By the way, people have been making a lot of fun because of the stupid <sighs> meme advert that they had for Huawei. Mm. You can always hear it in the background. So yes. people have been dubbing that onto their faulty phones. I saw some... <sighs> Do I even want to get into it? I saw some videos. So some people. color channels. Some color oranges, channels oranges are, and greens. By the way, in case you didn't take that wrong, color channels are these channels that we can't even keep track of the names because they're the same channel, but, but they just have different, under different colors. colors. Yeah. So we just call them color yeah. channels. They're yeah. like orange one. There's a green one. Mm -hmm. And they do China news, and that's fine. A lot of it's great. Yeah. Um, but they're... They don't do fact-checking, though. Oh that's the gosh. problem. They just throw shit out there. People were making pretty funny memes in China, yeah. blaring this advertisement. Yeah. And they were like, I hear it everywhere because it's so annoying. Yeah. And they were like, look, when I charge my phone, I can't even hear it and yeah. they're like some people say that when they plug in their huawei phone it plays annoying you know yeah it makes so, it makes sound guys, it's a meme what guys are you it's a doing meme. don't choo yeah. choo yeah exactly yeah where's our train <laughs> thing it's gotta gotta be around here somewhere right let's uh there we go. anyway back to this whole thing guys um take a look a lot of them are just Hanging, freezing, yes. right? Like this. Yeah, see? Huawei Mate 60. Here's another guy. Take a look, just hangs. This is yeah, so, you know, what he's saying is I can't even open these apps. If I try to open that, you know, WeChat, it just crashes the phone. And he says when he charges it, it's incredibly hot. And, well, 还有时候冲不进去。华为说，是因为那个充电保护太烫了，他就不让充。我充个电还那么烫，烫的膜都已经烫了两，烫掉了两次。See, wow. he's showing that the screen protector is even peeling off from the heat. Yeah. When he 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 charges it. Yeah.这这已经是第二次了，全部翘起了，烫的，包括这边上，你看。Yikes. Yep. Anyway, now here's a. <laughs> yeah. 
Here's a great insight into, first of all, China, but also something that nobody actually talks about when it comes to Huawei yeah. phones. And yeah. it's super important, guys. Yeah. Pay attention to this. So first of all, look at this mess. See all this junk flying across the screen? This is how the majority of Chinese people I know watch it's called wild Content. subtitles. Like if they're going to watch a TV show, yeah. like just say you want to binge watch something on Netflix. In China, this is what they're seeing. They're called yeah. wild subtitles. And this is like people can add comments kind of as things are going, you know? Yeah. And they'll be like, oh, wow, he's going to kiss her or something. You know, that kind of nonsense. And it comes don't up do it. Screen. Don't do it. Yeah. Or someone's like, he but, totally kills her in the end. Yeah, exactly. But <laughs> the thing is, for some reason, and it's, it's got to be a cultural thing. But Chinese people love this. It adds so much value to whatever they're watching, right? My wife watches with this stuff on too oh sometimes. Gosh. Like I, not I, as much these days. Yeah. Because I I always make fun of her when she does. Because it's like, can you actually see the the show you're watching? You know, it's just wild subtitles. Anyway, that's something you can see. That's a cultural thing. But here's somebody. What they're doing is it just drives me insane. Even looking at this. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna take it down. Here's how um, the Huawei Mate 60 and Huawei phones in general really screw you over, okay? They put adverts in everything. Yeah. Okay, so now you're, you're buying a phone and it costs the same as... $1,100. Okay, so it costs the same as the entry-level iPhone 15, right? Actually, it's more. Isn't it like... Yeah, it's more than the entry-level. Yeah, yeah. So It's, it's way worse. Yeah, it costs the same as iPhone 15. Mm. Now, here's the thing. Let's take a look. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. He does a comparison between Apple and he does a comparison between the Huawei Mate 60. So let's just take a look at something here. Okay. okay let's get through this stuff. Let me get, get an example up on the screen here, sorry. Okay, you know weather, right? I do. Okay. So you know when you open up... The, you know when you open up the weather on your phone in... Um, in Apple, it tells yes, you what the weather is, it right? Does. In in Huawei phones, when you open up the weather app, adverts pop up. <laughs> okay, look, that's so par for the course for the yeah. 360, uh, 360 yeah, yeah, yeah. OS in China. Yeah. Whenever I had to do a presentation, mm -hmm. and like you know that big thing, yeah, I'd try to open something, and ads would be I everywhere. I know it's awful. It's awful. So adverts pop up, okay, in your weather app, which is ridiculous. Okay, it's supposed to just tell you the weather, right? And then he shows, like, when you open up the iPhone uh, weather app, there are no adverts in there, okay? It just tells you the weather, as it should, okay? This is the Huawei wallet, okay? You know the Huawei wallet? Yes. Okay. Also, adverts popping up. See at the top there? <laughs> My God. Imagine you open your wallet to pay for something and adverts are popping up in your, in your face. This guy's loaded. Oh, yeah, no, that was that's just an example. Yeah, see, you open up the um, iPhone wallet, and there are no ads. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is, I guess, the browser. Can't see. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> what is this guy watching? I have no idea. No idea. <laughs> Once again, the algorithm is really catered yeah. to this guy. Yeah, that was the browser, yeah. you see? Like, Sorry. when you open Safari, and that's just the default screen that comes on when you open the browser, just yeah. adverts. Yeah. How about this, okay? The health app. Yes. So, you know, like on iPhone or whatever, you have a health app, and it tells you, like, how many steps you've done or mm. you've worked out or whatever. You open up the health app on the Huawei... It's got card like EV adverts and stuff popping up. I would. I'm going on record here. <laughs> yeah. I would pay to not have this phone. I mm, would actually mm. give money to not have to have it. Not yeah. this was something alternative. I would rather not have anything. Yes. I mean, do you guys understand? This is an expensive phone. It costs the same as the iPhone. Eleven hundred dollars. But they're subsidizing this by throwing tons of ads. They're making yeah. money from advertisers yeah. because it costs you. so much to make. Yeah. Yeah. Because it is so stupidly expensive for them to make it because they're using very bad technology on the chips. But imagine that. Imagine you buy your phone for a thousand one hundred dollars and you're still bombarded by ads for every app you open and remember these are mandatory apps you cannot like have the google play store or anything on your yeah you know yeah. you have to have these apps full of adverts absolute nonsense you know what i mean see it's just 
bombarded with ads in the health app as well, not just when you open it, but inside the app too. It's, um, it's pathetic, right? And this is kind of a hidden thing that people don't talk about. You could say it's got a nice camera if, uh, and that kind of thing, yeah. but it's about the um, <coughs> user experience, right? Yeah. Now, the Huawei store, of course, is going to be full of adverts. The Apple store is too, but it's adverts for uh, apps, right? Yes, yes. And the Huawei store, I believe they've got adverts for just random stuff in there too. That's right. Yeah. So that's just, you know, we can we could go through all this. It's unnecessary, but it just shows you the amount of BS adverts and stuff you have to deal with when, you're, when you have a Huawei. Yeah. And it's all Huawei's. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's true. So, yeah, that pretty much brings us to the end of the segment. <sighs> the be-all and the end-all of this nonsense is, guys, that um, the Apple iPhone is still very much in demand in China. As we yes. can see, it's selling out. There's huge queues of people trying to buy the thing. People in China still want the iPhone. It is a far superior product to the Huawei. They try to play it down to say like, oh, look, the iPhone only has USB-C. Yeah. It's not true. There was a fantastic Chinese tech reviewer, which I shared on Twitter. By oh, the yeah, way. it's great. He broke it down. The new um, <clears throat> advancements in the camera are incredible. And also the fact that it can play AAA games like Resident Evil and stuff. You can plug it into your TV with like a cable and you it's can insane. play it. Yeah. It's and so it good. runs it's really well. We are not it's, sponsored by Apple, no, but it's very good. It's very good. And of course, you're talking about a three nanometer chip. Yeah. China's still messing around with a seven nanometer chip, which is being very badly produced anyway. Yeah. It's light years ahead. So yeah. why would anyone not want to get the iPhone 15, Makes especially no since it costs the same? Makes no sense. Yeah. And you don't have to deal with adverts in every part of your yeah. phone yeah. and it overheating and freezing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the Huawei thing that's supposed to be this big sanction buster that's supposedly just skyrocketed China ahead and all that is actually just propaganda nonsense as usual. You know what I mean? And by the way, turns out that they're using uh, Korean memory chips in it anyway, which they're not supposed to. And it looks like, because you know what, when they took the phone apart, they found two Korean um, memory chips and they'd completely <laughs> removed all the markings off of them. So you can't see that they're Korean, but they are. Oh. They run tests on them. They found yeah, out they are yeah. Korean chips. They're not supposed to have those right. because of sanctions. So they either got them through deception by saying, because they can still be sold memory for their 4G stuff, mm -hmm. okay? So they probably said this is for a 4G device. That's why they haven't made the Mate 60 Pro. They don't say 5G anywhere on it. Oh. They still can get away with saying it's a 4G phone with 5G speeds mm -hmm. or something. It's probably why, so that they can deceive sanctions to get the chips that they need interesting so yeah there's a lot there's a lot going on with this phone huh. but it's it's basically um an exercise in theft and deception and copying and propaganda yeah we've seen it we've been talking about it for ages but it's funny to see what happened when iphone was actually released yes that's just icing on the cake it, it absolutely is Anyway, so that's the end of our soft power hour, guys. Um, <laughs> exactly. Time for us to move on to the Wu Mao corner. This is where we talk about the haters, and you've prepared something pretty uh, interesting and very important for this uh, segment. Yeah. So, so about a year ago, mm -hmm. uh, you guys probably remember the Sitong Bridge guy. Yes. The Sitong Bridge guy was this guy in Beijing. Here he is. Who unfurled this banner, mm -hmm. right? And it called for a lot of things that would absolutely positively be allowed in any country with a semblance of freedom of speech. Sure. There are no demands here that are that are even controversial. Yeah. Right. This brave dude from this little village mm -hmm. uh, in Chichihar yeah. unfurled We've this. We've been there. Yes. And we have been to Beijing as well. Uh, unfurled this over this bridge called Satong Bridge. And mm -hmm. there's some footage of it so you guys can remember. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is about a year ago. I remember this is October 13th, I believe. Yeah. Last year. What happened was um, this guy, I'll come back to that guy in a yeah. second. Um, did I, is the, the clip not in there? I think you've got it all the way at the other side. I'll, I'll dig That's it okay. up. That's okay, yeah. Can we, I can, I'll can you, dig it up. Can you pull, just so people can remember. Yeah. Um, remember the con yeah, yeah. the context of this. Uh, so back in the day, yeah. a year ago, this happened. And I guess there were some tires or something lit to get some, some more press, right? You got some attention, yeah. You got some attention to it. And he unfurled this, and it was against, uh, you know, the, the leader of China and co the COVID restrictions, right? Yeah, because everyone was still locked down, and there was all this... Freaking out. 
tests every day. So it said, Yao Tzu Fan, Yao Zi Yao. So he basically it said, I want, we want food, we want the ability to be free, and we want to be able to vote. Those yes. are the demands, yeah, yeah. right? Students, workers, and the people strike the uh, Sh- Xi Jinping. Strike down Xi Jinping. Yeah, yeah. which just means like, make let him step down. Or yeah, yeah. Uh, Doesn't mean like actually strike. No, 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 not like that. A strike. Not like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so immediately authorities rushed to take down the banner, right? And they obviously arrested him immediately. He, he's gone, yeah. right? That was an easy sacrifice. Like mm-hmm. when I say easy, I mean it was easy to know what was going to happen to him. This guy yeah. will never be seen <clears throat> again, right? No. Uh, in China, this is this is like probably the worst thing you could do. Yes. Right? So, it's like trying to steal a propaganda banner from North Korea. Yes, except worse, because this is to pub, to the public, yeah. right? This is showing the public action that they should be taking. Yes. Right? Um, now, here's the deal. Mm-hmm. I'll get it back a to A year that. later now, uh, this guy in the Netherlands, which, yeah, we had his photo up there, right? Mm-hmm. He wanted to know what, uh, you know, at least get as close as possible to what happened. What what was the the closest possible truth that we could So wait, find? this this, this guy, guy Lin this, yeah, all right. So this is a Lin dissident in the Netherlands, right? Yeah, Lin Shengjiang, he was like, how can we get closer to this? How right? can we find out what happened? How can to we him? find out what happened yeah. to him? And in that process, he was able to find where this guy was from. Mhm. What village he was from, which is a very small village outside mm-hmm. of Chijihar, like I said, in Heilongjiang province, yep. way up in the north. Uh, it's apparently like a, like a little Mongolian autonomous area yeah. it, within China. And figure out that he has family. Right. right? So what happened was, um, I guess the China Human Rights, uh, Human Rights in China, I guess uh, VO, VOA, Voice, yeah, of, Voice America, of America, Chi- but Chinese, the Chinese language version. Mm-hmm. They sent some people up to this village, right? Right. <clears throat> and... Um, what happened was very interesting. So a year, about a year later, a year this, after he's disappeared, after he's disappeared, after he's unfurled this ba- banner, mm-hmm. right? They go there and they look for look for his daughter and his wife, mm-hmm. right? Turns out they are under arrest. They're under house, house, house arrest and surveillance all the time. Not like uh, here and there check in. Yeah, they have a permanent police staff, mm-hmm. secret police staff around the village to make sure nobody comes and looks for them so this guy unfurls a banner and the kid and the wife are per, are basically basically disappeared from a public eye and made sure that they're the entire the village not yeah. just not just the people the entire so this village. is this is what happens when they showed up to the village okay okay and they sent some people to go figure out what's going on mm-hmm. uh just just show that i want to show the guys okay the pictures so it was uh, obviously they were they were called to action real quick <laughs> to you know the plainclothes police. Yeah, we've had police. this happen to us as yeah. well, where they just turn up immediately. Like, as you know, you shouldn't be in certain areas in China if they've you know if they don't want people there. Yes, they'll be right there. Yeah, yeah. That guy is such a hateable guy, isn't he? I've... I mean, all these guys that do the secret police stuff for China, it's always it's almost always not for legal reasons. It's almost they're pro- just protecting the party and making sure journalists or people don't see what's really going on. Which in this case is is imprisoning a child and a woman. Yeah, it's imprisoning two innocent people. See this guy over here has a body camera, so he's filming yeah. whoever was there. Yeah, they're filming them, and they have their badges and whatnot. They were immediately immediately swarmed on yeah. in this little village when they just wanted to talk to the family. Mm-hmm. And it's insane. I mean, you have a child that has their life completely altered. Mm. Um, his wife has, you know, is, is surveilled and un- probably under arrest for the rest of her life because her husband unfurled the bridge that said, I want to yeah, vote. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, sorry. It's, it's interesting how they think it's somehow genetically <laughs> carried. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, yes. oh, this guy... And filled a banner, so somehow through genes, his family is responsible. These guys act the same. uh, It's like PTSD seeing these dudes because (laughs) we've run into these guys, secret police, all over China. When you're trying to, not even trying to do anything, yeah, no, that's it's it's, ruin area. They're so pull you out of the hotel. Yeah, they're so (laughs) they're so scummy. You know, you can't stay here, foreigner. You know, at least this guy's like, I'm a douche. It's like. (laughs) At least try to not look so bad. They do just look like <laughs> villains, don't they? Yeah. Well, they are. They are villains. Yeah. I mean, they're house arresting a child. Mm-hmm. So now you've got something here from a lawyer, and you wanted to play this? Yes, yeah, this is really interesting because it does mm-hmm. two things. Okay. <laughs> it's always a dual purpose. Stuff. Sure. But do you remember we talked about this law called picking quarrels and starting trouble? Yes. It's like a blanket law that you can literally accuse anyone of doing. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's this idea that you can always have a legal reason to go after someone no matter yes. what they do. Yeah. 
And this law is used for usually political dissidents, right? Yes. Or anybody that's trying to, you know, like Dude, anyone that they don't like. Anything. Yeah. You yeah. could you could get them for this. You go, no, nope, you did that law, you broke that law, we're going after you. Yeah. Right? Now, this law was used in, in 2011, our Hu Jintao, the previous leader, mm -hmm. this law was used 800 times. Okay. During his whole time? No, during this year, during the 2011. Okay, in 2011, it was reported this law, by the CCP that it was used 800 times. 800 times. So that's yes. the previous leader, like you said, the mm -hmm. Hu Jintao. We we liked China during his reign. Yes, not not necessarily attributing to him, but it was yeah. China was a nicer place. Yeah. In 2019, mm -hmm. this law, which again is an arbitrary law, yeah, was used 40,000 times, and that that's is crazy. public data from the government. Yeah, 40,000 versus 800 times, and I think that is so emblematic and symptomatic of what is happening in China, yeah. what's happened to China since we yeah. left. Yeah. Um, and this lawyer here in Nanjing goes through about uh, you know what what the problems are with this law, and I'd like yeah. to play his clip. Okay. So we should probably read the subtitles for people who are listening. Um, I think we can just play it and then summarize it at okay. the end. You could probably turn it up. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I turned the audio off for earlier. Yes, um, I'll get it up to speed. Let's play. This question has been asked a lot. 我们会经常地看到蓝访、解访的现象批评教育那就是要申诉，一定要坚持到底。但是寻衅滋事罪翻起来相当的困难，一定要做好持久战的准备。So you know what's interesting about this, by the way. Yeah. What he was saying, this lawyer was saying that basically, in the Chinese constitution, you let's pretend you're a Chinese dude. Let's say you're from uh, Jiangxi. Yeah. You can go legally to Beijing. It's in the constitution. It's yeah. in the constitution to go file a complaint to the Beijing central government because yes. it's the People's Republic of China, right? They have to go do things for the people, yeah? Yeah. Now, in that process, what is going to happen is you are going to be stopped at every single point along the way because local officials where you're from are going to get in trouble if they let you do it. So in the constitution, you're allowed to do this. It's there. I need to go petition something to the Beijing government. They will stop you and harass you and stop you from doing this the entire way. In mm -hmm. fact, I covered this in my uh, social credit system thing. I have first hand experience of this. Yeah, yeah, with the you know, the... Um, my my wife was part of a there was a huge peer to peer lending investment boom in China. Okay, it's as usual. It's basically a pyramid scheme, just like many of these things that happen in China. She was part of a group, and this happened with everyone. Is you have these little groups of investors that get together, mm -hmm. and they all decide, okay, we're going to invest in this this particular company or whatever. And so they chat and they talk about their investments and, you know, swap stories about how to earn more and that kind of thing. Anyway, when the government cracked down on peer-to-peer -peer lending, the company that they had all invested in this group stole the money and ran away, okay? So, of course, everybody had invested huge amounts of money, life savings, okay, or at least huge amounts, I mean, my wife included, invested a lot of money and it was gone. So the group decided like some of the more I guess you could say the more sort of like militant members it's the wrong word but you know what I mean the kind of more go-getter members I should say decided that they were going to go to Beijing to petition to get the government to uh, figure this out to refund them because for some reason all Chinese people have in the back of their mind that if they 
lose money to a scammer or something, they can always go to the government and they'll sort it out because they've been told their whole life the government's got their back. It's not true. So some of the members of that group all of a sudden started to get visits. One of the guy's bosses got a visit from the local police to tell the boss to warn him not to go. If he goes, he's going to lose his job. That's how they stopped the one guy. Another one, the police came to his door and made him sign a letter to promise that he wouldn't go to Beijing. So he can't petition against the crime that's happening. Yes. Now, so that, and that was like multiple of them, different sneaky ways like that to stop them from going to Beijing. So it's exactly what you said. When I did the expose about uh, the government document, I found of Rongjiang, this, yeah. this city in Shandong, about yeah. how the social credit system works, because this is the model city to test it out on. Yeah. One of the things that actually makes you lose social credit is if you go to Beijing <laughs> to petition. Yeah. So in the law, you yeah. are losing points on your social credit if you go to petition your grievances to the central government. Yes. How insane is that? It's and this pathetic. guy, this lawyer says, listen, you can go do that and then you're gonna, you are gonna. might even get charged with a, a law. They might actually yeah. arrest you and detain you for this. If you actually quarrels. make it there, he yeah. says like, they're gonna stop yeah. you yeah. and do everything. But even if you do make it there, then they're gonna probably charge you with this law. Yes. Now, the crazy thing about this is that some people, some clever people said, well, wait a minute, why why is this out there? Like, why is this video out there telling people how bad the Chinese government is, right? Mm -hmm. This guy, turns out, is, I believe, to be in the CPPCC. Oh, wait, I've got something for that. Let me just dig it around here. You're talking about... CPPCC. CPPCC. Which is the people's consultative uh, branch of the government. Basically, the people that are not in the government, but guide the government to make decisions, right? Sure. So what this does is, even if this guy's genuine and he's actually saying this is an issue, right? Mm -hmm. Even if he is trying to petition the government and be like, this is a bad law, right? Yeah. This is there's something broken here. The reason that this video is allowed to proliferate is quite... It's quite complex mm -hmm. because people will say, wait a minute, why would they censor such a such an egregious violation of human rights, right? You can't yeah. even use the Chinese constitution to go do something. No, this is not meant for you Westerners or no. like English speakers to see. This is on purpose. It's a warning. They want Chinese people to watch this because what this does is create the ultimate, ultimate apathy. Yeah. Because they say, wait a minute, I can't even... I can't petition Beijing. There's no point in bringing my grievances. Yeah, it's a warning. It's literally like it's if you do get yeah. there, then you will get charged and they will probably have to fight it for the rest of your life. What this is called mm -hmm. is... Uh, dual purpose. It's dual purpose propaganda, but mm -hmm. also at the same time, it's it's called... Um, uh, it's called... What is it called? A warning under the guise of critique. Yes. Because you might think this is a critique of the Chinese law, but no. the Chinese people don't care because there is no, you don't change the law. You can't change it. Right? Yeah, yeah. So it does have two purposes. This guy could be as genuine as hell. Yes. But it doesn't matter because what it did is just prevent lots and lots of people from ever petitioning the Chinese government. Yeah. For even thinking about petitioning yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty it's insane. A, it's a sad state of affairs, man. It's a sad yeah. state of affairs. Yeah. And that stupid arbitrary law is the worst thing ever because they can charge you. If you're wearing a green T-shirt on a day, they could be like that caused like uh, pro you pro pro provoking trouble but because green is offensive to Doesn't someone. matter. Doesn't matter what. They can do whatever. They can use it for anything. So. It's the best law that ever happened at the CCP. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of like that national security law they put in uh, in Hong Kong. Yes. You know, same thing. Yes. All right. Anyway, so it's time for us to move on to worldview, everybody. This is where we talk about... Everything that's happening in the, in the world, specifically with regards to China. And today we're talking about the Jiaotong University. Why? I just want to say, you know that worldview clip that shows yeah, a lot yeah. of stuff? People probably think that's stock footage. All of that is us. Yes. Every one of those clips is us. That yep. Mongolian guy, we were in his yurt. He yeah, we awesome. built a yurt there. We herded his camel. We actually helped him. Not, not of novelty. We helped yeah. him find his camels. And we herded and them. And we herded them with motorcycles, which yes. is a hilarious novelty. Yeah, it was fun. Um, we watched the uh, native North Korean people on the border with China scrubbing down uh, cakes of soybeans to make alcohol. Yeah, Dunjiang or whatever it was. Yeah, one of those was us standing actually underneath uh, the, the Harbin church. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I just wanted yeah. everyone to know that all on the rice fields, all yeah. that's uh, that's us. Yeah, dude. Of course. You know, you know, a lot of news shit is going to be Yeah, stock it's going to be some do 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 Or just stock footage. Yeah, yeah. None like of spinning globe or something. Jiaotong University, one of the biggest and uh, most prestigious universities in China. Do you know what they did? What? In Xi'an. 
This is a sign of something dark, I think. Okay. They just got rid of the requirement to pass English for their graduation. And that is something that has been part and parcel part of China is that, yes, you are Chinese first and foremost, but you got to learn English because how else are you going to participate in the world stage? Yeah. China is now getting to a point now where they, they don't really care about that anymore. No, no it's just, yeah. let's, let's break off. That's well, usually a bad sign. It is a bad sign. Xi Jinping for the longest time now has been getting rid of any foreign influence out of textbooks or anything. And that just means anything that's not praising the CCP, basically. Yeah. So yeah. any foreign textbooks are not allowed anymore. They've yeah. revised all their textbooks to remove anything that's got to do with, you know, foreign, foreign languages stuff. and foreign yeah. stuff. So yeah, I mean, it's a bad thing. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. Well, you know. Just thought, I mean, that's a sign of usually dark times. Afoot. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, yet again, we're looking uh -huh. at another all-time low. Well, actually, since 2015, where the, the last all-time low was. Of capital outflow, yeah, which basically means money pouring out of China, which yeah. they're desperately trying to plug that hole. Yeah, that's why they put all these ridiculous rules mm -hmm. in place in China that prevent you from changing your money into U.S. dollars or Bitcoin. Yeah, right. They made Bitcoin illegal. Yes, all these things are made to get you know, and you know why? It's really sad, but the truth is, when Chinese people get money, is they get it out of China. Yes, the truth is, when CCP officials. Make a lot of money. They get it out of China. Yeah, they send their family to Canada they get or out of the US like, or something. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> Buy property, park yeah. money in real estate. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, this is just a huge warning sign for yeah. the future of China's economy. Yeah. Uh, because when you have a large sector of the population, especially people with money, we're not talking about farmers here. Yeah, we're talking course. about people that actually have money and sway. They trying to get out, right? Yeah, yeah. We've seen not, a, not only an outflow of capital, we've seen an outflow of people. Yes. And that is, it's like... If you look at the figures compared to the last leadership, how many people have left with their money, it's insane. Yeah. China is just hemorrhaging millionaires left and right. And not only that, just poor people too. You've seen yeah, yeah, huge escaping, amounts yeah. of like uh, illegal migrants coming in yeah, at the borders uh, here in America. Uh, all like huge amounts of Chinese people, caravans of them coming yeah. through. Yeah. So I just want to go through a couple of graphs here. Okay. Um, some really interesting indicators. I believe this is from Financial Times. But um, mm -hmm. if you look at, if you look at this stuff, it makes it paints a very non-rosy picture of the financial future of China. Okay. Look at direct investments. He's biggest outflow since early 2016. That's direct <clears throat> investment into China, mm. right? Mm. Outflow. We're talking about this is leaving. Now the yeah. money is pouring out. Yes, right? yes. Look at the graph here. Look at the... Uh, uh, we're covering that part. Oh, uh, we're covering the important part? Yeah, the now part. Okay. Oh, this is Bloomberg. Sorry. Sorry. Um, mm. Look at the look at what we're looking at here. Look at yeah. how the the inflow from 2020 to like 2022 right yeah. there was it was pouring in. People were like they're gonna have a drastic recovery. It's uh, all this COVID, like stupid right? BlackRock and all those things yeah. like oh invest in China you know right. it's the next big thing. And they're gonna pull out mm. of this COVID nonsense with a mm -hmm. you know, raging fervor. Because they listen to the nonsense and they well they they've got all their investments so they actually perpetuate the nonsense from the Chinese government like yes. false false GDP numbers. Well, because people get rich yeah. in the process. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's so, what they want. They want yeah. you to invest your hard-earned money in this crap. So let me keep going. There's a bunch of these indicators. Okay. Um, I mean, this is just not good. Uh, services deficit widens on outbound tourism revival. So the idea was that we were going to come back and everyone's going to pour into China. After mm -hmm. this COVID nonsense, people are going to be rushing back to spend their dollars on our mm -hmm. country. Mm -hmm. Not the case. Absolutely nope. not the case. Not at Ta all. Absolutely tanking. Yeah. Uh, continue. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's getting worse. Yeah. Uh, the UN is weakening this year. We're watching the UN. <laughs> certain people out there. Certain people are like, yeah, they're like, oh, look yeah. at the graph go up. <laughs> yeah, it's going up. Look how strong <laughs> the UN is. Yeah. Do that. yeah. We've it's seen funny. Chinese government shills like Westerners. Yeah, they'll yeah. share graphs like this and like zoom it in so you don't see that whatever. And they're yeah. like, look, it's going up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway, the UN is been weakening, which is yeah. not a good sign. The, the Chinese government does this too, though. Yes, on purpose. They, they manipulate their that's, currency, which is unfair. That's a bad indicator. Though. It's very bad that they do that, though. So, so that makes products coming out of china cheaper so people yeah. buy more of it they do correct. that on purpose to like boost sales correct outflows accelerate from financial markets we're mm -hmm. down to 20 like bit covid levels basically yeah. and this is when the economy's wide open yeah it's not yeah. good no um so people are not being bullish but you know what's so funny is the response from the government what did they say there you can always tell when china the chinese government cares about something deeply mm -hmm. and they're really pissed off about not just people like us, but like all media talk, like 
basically pitching that China's economic future is probably pretty dismal. Yeah. I want you to read this quote from Xinhua. <laughs> Xinhua, so Chinese government uh, mouthpiece, biggest newspaper, well, news outlet says, <clears throat> a slew of sensational yet biased Western media reports about China's economy have raised eyebrows recently, drawing attention to some of the old tricks employed <laughs> by those media outlets to disgrace the Chinese economy. Double standards, selective blindness, false narratives, manipulation of statistics, to name just a few, are among the handy tricks some Western media employ in depicting China's economic landscape. That is literally what China does. <laughs> no, isn't it so funny? It's everything that China... It's, <laughs> it's, it's a playbook. It's so, you know, the guilty person yes. always return blames to, other people. And return to the scene of the crime. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, holy crap. That's exactly what the Chinese government does. Exactly uh, all of that. Shoot. So dumb. Ah, uh, there's so, another quote here, which okay. gets, it even gets better. Oh, it does, does yeah. it? Let's this see. A, it's a two-parter. Okay. The use of such tricks is pervasive as deep-seated ideological basis... Bias. Oh, sorry, bias, sorry, has left many Western journalists incapable of objectively assessing China's economic performance. And certain media outlets are even driven by profits to resort to smearing <laughs> and sensationalism. <laughs> kind of like the Global Times. Yeah, I was or, just about to say. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my, pro that is projection of note. Projection! But he's wow. not around anymore, he's yeah. He's not. We'll always keep him living on, though. Yeah. He gets more press to us than the Chinese government gives yeah, him. Yeah, no, they've completely gotten rid of the poor Jolly guy. Jolly Jen, poor guy. Drawing yeah. border markers on the ocean. Um, yeah. You know, he looks like my father-in-law. Does he? Almost the same. Wow. You know, the glasses and everything. He's not a bad-looking guy. No, but yeah. I'm just saying, like, it's interesting. It sucks because like, I like your yeah. father-in-law, but yeah. I hate Jolly Jen. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I've got weird yeah. mixed emotions sure, about the guy. Sure, You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Uh, that is some nonsense right there. That is such a funny quote. Yeah. I was dying when I read that. So, guys, you know what time it is now. It's time for our Q&A. This is uh, Yamcha. This is where we get to answer your questions and you question our answers. What happens is this stays live. Obviously, now we do it. We leave it up over the weekend. But Monday, we cut it out of the show. But you can always watch the full show, including the whole Q&A. If you are a patron of any tier, if you go to patreon.com forward slash ADV podcast, you also get access to our Discord server. Yes. And all and that nonsense. That's a, a really fun place to be. Oh, it's super, super, super fun. Yeah. So anyway, it is Friday after all. It's time to loosen the tie, relax, answer your questions. Let's get into it. Uh, thank you, Ah uh, Yeah. Thank you, Jim Flag. Thank you, Ah uh, Yeah. Uh, v Diddy says, mm -hmm. Why do all the Fuar dies living in my luxury New York apartment building leave their trash in the hallway hoping someone will pick it up? They seem to have lower class than working people. That's actually how it works in China. Yeah, it is. You leave it in the hallway. Yeah, you leave it in the hallway. Now, look, it depends on the building. Um, most buildings have, like, at the stairwell, a big trash can. Or so a chute. Yeah, some of them have a chute. The they majority of places I lived in didn't have a chute. Uh, up north. Yeah, up north. It's yeah. different to the south. I've never seen it in the south. Yeah. But you have, like, a big trash, and you walk in and you throw it in there, right? But I've lived in those crappier buildings, you know, mm. like those seven-story mm. walk-up buildings that, like, Mario Cavallo lives in in the industrial chemical zone, you know? He's going to think you made up that meme. <laughs> no, but he, no, I didn't make it up, but that's where he lives. Yeah. Anyway, you know those <laughs> seven-story seven walk-ups? Yeah. Those, you just take your bag of trash, like, you just put it in a plastic shopping bag, and you just put it outside your door every day, and they have, like, a cleaning lady who just comes and collects it all. So they're probably just doing what they did back home. Yes. Yeah. By the way, that was just a joke. What? The walk-up thing. What about it? It just sounded like a... Lo it's not a location. That is like a no, joke. It's a seven, no, a seven I want to yeah. explain. Yeah. In China, mm -hmm. if you're wealthy, you have an elevator in yes. your apartment. But if you have a walk-up, it's called a six-story walk-up. Six, seven-story walk-up. Oh, seven, sorry. Yeah, seven I lived in one of those in, yeah. in that red so light district. I, yeah. I had one uh, earlier on. Yeah. Uh, basically, you have to walk up the stairs, so there's no yes. elevator. So yeah, that's like yeah. An remember insult. your your first place. Yeah. yeah, that's an insult to people. Like I don't care, but like yeah. an insult to someone that's trying to show. It just off. means you're poor. If you said like you you live in a seven story <laughs> walk up, that in China that would be like an insult. Yeah, when I was yeah. mad poor in China, I lived in a seven story walk up. Yes, this and is it our best sucks. Choice. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Yeah, you know who else lives in a seven story walk up? This is our best choice. The difference is we own it. Yeah, exactly. He tries to pretend. Not literally. Tries to pretend he lives in like a 32-story thing, but nah, we know the truth in the chemical industrial zone. <laughs> That's where you live, bro. It's in the sonic level, really. Yeah, yeah. pretty much, yeah. Chemical plant zone. Exactly, a chemical plant zone, yeah. V Diddy says, <laughs> happy four die Friday. Shout out to my four die neighbor who double parks his $100,000 car every time. I hate that. 
Doc Shows s- you money doesn't teach you how to drive. That's true. Doc mm-hmm. Southington, easy chair, activated. Snacks, secured. Only nice. the Ferris wheel guy knows my excitement for the weekend. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, the engaged few says, I wonder how well Faraday bags would sell in China if the state would ban them because it makes it impossible for the phone to track you. I didn't think about that. Yeah. You know, what's really interesting. Something that's I've only encountered in China and it's, it's not a Faraday bag, but it's sim- similar. It's like a, for pregnant women, they wear like this RF blocking oh, yeah. dress. You'll see they wear this like pink dress, but it's actually like a Faraday dress. Yeah. You know what I mean? It actually blocks RF signals. Yeah. And it's weird because I always saw like pregnant women wear that like pink dress. You've seen it, right? Yes. You see it a lot. And yes. I was like, why are they always wearing the same yeah. clothes? Turns out, obviously because of rumors and stuff, you know, like everyday devices like yeah. Wi-Fi and phones emit like radiation, yeah. radio waves and stuff. Yeah. That blocks it. So it's like to block your developing baby she from like, like bad star signals. 1057 today's exactly hot. Like, poor what kids what like heck? oh no i'm mutating <laughs> you know what i mean but i thought it was yeah. kind of interesting because when i found out about that i was like oh that that explains why they all wear the same thing but i was also like that's kind of weird but also interesting at the same time yeah yeah there's there's a lot of stuff like that we actually wanted to cover that on shop on ho but you guys not keep not voting for that one yeah but there's so many there's like things like Women are now wearing like UV clothes. Yeah. Like there's crazy trends. Yeah, there's a very and strange it's trend. Funny. It's like, a different what? world. What? Yeah. Uh, Ash Daddy, do you all think China maintains a first strike policy for nukes? I don't know. I don't know anymore. <laughs> Who knows, man? They don't even know. Daniel uh, Clancy says, hey guys, love the show. What do you think of China's new video AI avatar shown on Twitter recently? Real or fake? Space Daddy Musk seems impressed. I don't know uh, which one. I'll have to catch up on that. We've got a fantastic uh, video AI thing that they've put out recently. Remember I yeah, downloaded really that funny. all? Yeah, we'll do that soon. Crater Lake, thank you very much. Turd Ferguson, South Korea's best Korea. Jana Howell. Agreed. Yeah, it uh, is best Korea. Of course. Man. Holy crap. That's not enough. <laughs> yeah. Here, what do you want? It's like <laughs> eat bark or, you know, go out for a nice meal at the restaurant. Eat bark you... or have a dog that barks as a pet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. Uh, mm. And your Lapanese. Thank you very much. Mm. I was not implying anyone's eating dogs, by the way. My, I my wife got so pissed off with me because she made um, like noodle dishes the other night for us. And she oh, made yeah. nice. like she made a, a, I don't know, like a Japanese noodle dish. And then she made a North Korean noodle dish. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, so she's she like, like this. I love yeah, it. exactly. And she's like, this is the, the North Korean noodle. I'm like, no, that's not accurate. It should be bark. And she was so mad at me. Why would she be mad? I don't know. She's like. Defending North Korea now? No, she's just mad. Like, I don't know why. Every uh, time I say, like, it's bark, I don't know why. You know what I'm we saying? We mean bark from trees because all the yeah. trees get stripped of bark. We saw that. Yeah, we we, we actually saw, that. saw this okay. in North Korea. Could yeah, just not? across the way. Yeah. Like, all the trees were missing or just missing bark. Yeah, it's insane in yeah. the grass. Yeah. It's like, it's mowed down, but not by like machines. No, by wren. Probably by teeth. By teeth. Yeah. And it's so sad to see that. No, it's people. horrible. But they're they're starving. starvation is a huge problem in oh, North Korea. So, so. bad. Yeah. Andrew, but yeah, their actual noodles taste great. Chaoxian lang mian is amazing. It's yeah. called North North Korea cold, cold noodles. noodles. Fantastic. I've had it very with good. watermelon in it. It's really good. Oh, I haven't yeah. tried yeah. that. Mm. Uh, Andrew Lappin C, thank you very much. Turd Ferguson, it's one of those days that you feel like slapping Mal. Oh, yeah, and we do actually have that, don't we? I just got to find it. It's here. You are too much more than you. That's one of my favorite clips of all <laughs> time. That, that kid's a legend. That kid is a legend. Poor guy. He got arrested. Yeah, he got arrested. Third grader <laughs> got arrested yes. for slapping a mouse statue. I should laugh at Yeah, that. but it's just Poor pathetic, kid. yeah. And then they took photos of Bragg of him Yeah, dealing, of him like squatting like on the floor handcuffed yeah. with the mouse statue next to him. Yeah. This is the country we're talking yeah, about, Yeah, exactly, guys. yeah. If people are trying to run defense about China, open your mind to what China yeah, actually exactly, is. Yeah, exactly, yeah. They arrest third graders for slapping mouse statues, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pleb, how to keep from being confused between Hunan or Hunan? Uh, which one was the live donkey meat dish? <laughs> You yeah, had a deep cut, no yeah. pun intended. Her is a river, who is a lake. Yes. So um, there's a big lake. That's why you got Hubei and Hunan, which is like north and south of yeah, the Bay lake. And, and then I guess the other one's just north of a river, you know? Yeah, so here's the deal. What? Um, the live donkey meat dish comes from Hunan, mm. not Hunan. Yeah, so river north. Yeah. 
South. And I will not even South. tell you what that entails. Yes. Look up live donkey meat dish China on Google. You can read it because we'll probably get age restricted yes. if we, even if we talk about uh, it. That's true. True. Because my video about it got age restricted yeah. and I only talked about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I knew people that had it. This is yes. it, It's very rare. Yeah. But I knew people from Hunan that actually had it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Richard Zier says, big thing, big fan. Thanks for your work, guys. Mm-hmm. Um, do you think it should... I should get a burner phone before visiting China. Yes. Yes. What cities do you recommend visiting? Shenzhen seems awesome. How much Chinese should I learn beforehand? Well, as much as you can. Yeah. Um, I'd probably say visit visit the big dogs if you want to stay safer. You know? Shenzhen, Shanghai, Beijing. Yeah. Just the. I would probably. I these days I would probably not recommend getting too deep. Yeah. Uh, just because of the anti foreigner sentiment and the suspicions with the police. Yeah. If you're in the big cosmopolitan cities where all the foreigners hang out anyway, you're probably fine. I would love for it to give you other city recommendations, but I would feel irresponsible if I did it. Play places I used to love. Yeah. Just because I know that even back then it was getting a little dicey. And yeah, now you go to like a rough. more rural area, you get a lot of attention, and especially yeah. with the xenophobia and stuff these days. I'd say I'd worry less about the people and worry more about the police presence. Yeah. <laughs> you know well, I mean? the people too, because they're going to be reporting you. For sure. The I mean, police you, will turn you'll up. You'll probably have a pretty good interaction with the people, but then eventually it'll lead There'll to There'll be something. a freaking There'll evil uncle one. in amongst the people, and There'll he'll be, be like one. calling the is yep. you know buddies and they're yep. gonna come pick you up i i personally right now wouldn't go to china yeah uh gilbert winston trying to make a flying toaster shirt for xiaoban ho ball sector and i still love flying toaster. oh yeah isn't that cool after dark i had it on my uh my mac I, mm-hmm. I didn't own a mac by the way i wasn't rich my mom because hey, hey, she was a teacher yeah she was a teacher so you got like an educational mac no it was a regular mac plus it was awesome yeah and i loved it i played cool. on it all day i always wanted you know like that kind of thing in south africa was impossible to get i don't mm. know if they were ever, ever sold there maybe they were maybe. but they were obviously just mad expensive yeah. the only time i saw a mac is i had a i think it was a science teacher in high school came from england and he bought one and he had it in his office and i was like this is really cool for mm-hmm. what it is mm-hmm. yeah we collect them actually yeah we got we a couple a, of those have- old macs a bunch. <laughs> yeah, we went on a bit of a weird spree. We ordered one. It wasn't working. We ordered another for spare parts. That we came... have a lot of different kind of Macs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We different got a... generations. Yeah, exactly. I love them. Yeah, they're very, they're very cool. aesthetic. Very, very cool. Yeah. Anthony Saints, great show as usual. I need a what's how. Oh, you'll get a what's how. Oh, what's how? <gasps> Such a popular sound bite. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get some of these others up there. You know, how about, you know, mm. something like... <laughs> Just thought I'd throw in a starfish Hitler for the hell of it. Anyway, I did it already. Yeah. 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 What's next? Uh, Rum Runner says, new work schedule. I'm back with a bad joke. Why did the Chinese girl think her black boyfriend was dumping her? I don't know. I'm worried about this. Because she asked him, do you love me? Yes or no? And he said, baby, you're my boo. A boo. (sighs) Like as in like, no. Uh, that's, I feel like that doesn't really work. That's lame, bro. <laughs> Roman always says bad jokes. Yeah, that's sometimes we get giggles up. That's actually that's really pretty crap. lame. Just because say. it's not that's not necessarily true. Like, because you wouldn't use boo in that. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah I want my boo. You know what I mean? You. It's not even like natural to say. That. No, 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 no. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. Anyway, good try. Yeah, good great try. try. Should I great come back try. with another one? Thanks for your support. Yeah. We, love, we always love having you. Yep. Uh, Blue Ram, that is so bad. Mm. Blue Ram, Tetris, Rasbora. I love your name, by the way. All those tropical fish. Mm. Um, with the news coming out of Canada about a China-connected murder, uh, will the CCP ban visas for ca- uh, Canadians like India did? Uh, I think I heard about the, the India, the India one. one. Yeah. What do you mean the China one? I don't know. We'll have to take a look. Yeah. Old matey. Happy Friday, guys. Here's some coin to go towards your next spicy barbecue massage. Oh, excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Chinese people in chat were like, that joke sucks. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we feel you. Yeah. It did suck, but we love we love your try and attempt. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bai Javi. In is a way for then to get Chinese citizens away to go away from Teslas to get them to buy Chinese brands. I'd rather spend it on piss eggs and have some Modellos. Yeah, no, absolutely. That's that's how China operates. Is they make it they unfairly force uh, foreign products out. That's what they've done with all internet products. Yes, Google Maps was doing incredibly well. You know, the, the thing is, um, we've got the privilege of being in China when things weren't blocked, right? 
So you've got Google Maps. China then releases Baidu Maps, and then they ban Google Maps. Everybody was using Google Maps. It's so good, but the Chinese had Chinese function everything. They ban it so that Baidu Maps works out well. Twitter's doing well. They block Twitter so that they can release, you know, their equivalent, whatever it is, Weibo instead. You know, they always do this. They force out the competition once yeah. they've managed to copy a product well enough. Yes. So, um, but that's just a joke was in there. And I was... It's a bad joke. What? <laughs> what? Go ahead. I didn't come up with this. Okay, you didn't come up with this. Why did the Mexican guy throw his wife off the roof? I don't know. Tequila. <laughs> Come on. That is so bad. Holy crap. What is with these like race-based jokes? They're not even like <laughs> crossing the line. They're just bad. They're bad. Yeah, it's not crossing a line, but yeah. it's like, come on, man. <laughs> Holy crap. That's bad. <laughs> oh. I feel like you had to put more of an accent into it, though, you know? I can't. Okay. Uh, Kuala 12, <laughs> yeah. these explosions in China remind me of what's happening in Russia during the war in Ukraine. Mm. The only difference is that the one in China might not be the work of a saboteur. No, it happens all the no, time. No, no, it's just bad safety standards. Yeah. You know, like they'll be transporting some some chemicals poorly and, you know, just ignites. Yes. That's probably what happened on the highway. Yes. And with the, the company, it's because they're not following safety protocols. Yes, agreed. Mm. Agreed. People are dying from how bad that joke. Give him a sound bite. Let's cleanse the. Yeah, we're gonna have to cleanse this. Uh, how about? Uh... <laughs> yeah, that'll that'll do. Love that one. Mm -hmm. Lee Steam, have you ever uh, heard guys heard of climate protesters who glue their hands to the ground? What do you think? What do you think will help if they tried that in China? What do you think? I guess would happen is what you mean. They get run over. You get run over, they'd be freaking disappeared, picking quarrels and causing trouble. Definitely yeah, that law. Yeah. Years yeah. in jail, at least. Uh, Henry Ikari, the biggest promoter in the cause of anti Asian hate is none other than the CCP itself. Correct. Pleb. Oh, snap. Is that Mao Zedong? I slap you. Slap, 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 slap. <laughs> I got that for you. You are too Mao Zedong. War boss Grimble says, May you name your source, please? Of source for what? My source <laughs> is that I made it the f up. <laughs> yeah. yes. yes. Yeah, you it's gotta so use good. That more. Dude, it's so epic. It's one of the best. It's it literally makes me happy. Yeah, it's amazing. It's wow. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Gee, thank you very much. Uh, Jay. Matt should be vindicated because I went to Kansas City's Renaissance Fair and I would have been proud to be a baker. Enough said, lol. Winston, <laughs> how's life? Thanks. Life's totally okay. Thank you very Good. much for asking. Licker sa Lecker says, even Huawei's founder, Ren Zhengfei, recently told the public that he and his family members all use iPhones with pride. Yeah. Yet we have these cretins. Yeah, it's, it's insane. All the big dogs in China, they use iPhones. Of course they do. Yeah. I mean, it, that's something people don't understand unless you live in China is that Chinese people in general still would much rather purchase foreign goods because they oh. see them as far greater quality than domestic goods. Oh, and they're yeah. tired of being ripped off all the time. Yeah. They're tired of the poor quality and the cheating. Yeah. So they know that if they buy a foreign um, product that it's going to at least have quality control that it passes. Yeah. You know, so they can say what they want about Huawei, but they still buy the iPhone. Yeah. Trendil, she says, Huawei or the highway. I had an mm. awful stressful, uh, sorry, I had a stressful week. Mm. Uh, can I get a barbecue massage? Thanks. You said, okay. Ah! Yeah, it's time to chill out, guys. I know it's been, this has been a terrible week for me. Has, I'll tell you yeah. one thing. Yeah. I've been trying to get Perfect a video great. out and it's getting sick and all sorts of other crap. I'll it's tell you shit. what, it's been a shit week. So I feel you, mate. It's time to relax. I agree. I'm in the same boat. Yeah. Forget about your troubles for a while. Yeah. Taro says, I'm pretty sure the guy bowing down at Huawei stores is doing a sarcastic bit, poking fun at actual Huawei simps. The phone, iPhone in his hand is the hint. Yeah, that's why well, I said I hope that's the Yeah, case. yeah, exactly. That's why we included it. However, there have been real ones, like that yeah, little kid just... bowing down to the advert. You know, it has become such a nationalist thing that, uh, you know, nationalist pride thing, this Huawei. It's LJ ridiculous. Smith. Thank you very much. Ian Miller, you got to understand China, T eggs equals poor, P eggs equals shing. Oh, yeah. You gotta understand, China. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. The, you could show a pea egg to we, show that. Yeah, I suppose money. I could. I could. I'll just show oh, this yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. 
I mean, so many people keep asking me, like, who's, who's, is it you or Winston that's saying how shufu ya? That's the person filming the, the video. The person who's filming that video. I don't know why people don't understand that. Yeah, why would I say that? They're filming the other person eating and they're like imposing their own yeah, like I guess it opinion is on it. It is weird. It's like, yeah. well, it's like if you're eating, if I say try this chocolate cake and you eat it, I'm like, is it, it's so tasty and rich. Isn't it? Yeah. It's that kind of, <laughs> so tasty and rich, isn't it? Yeah, it is That's weird. That's what's going it on. It is weird. Yeah. But I mean, you can say that though. Yeah, you can, but I'm yeah, eating. I wouldn't say, oh, it's so comfortable, you know? Yeah, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say that to someone. Yes. That's very that just reminded me of something crazy. I'll tell you after the show. Did it? Okay. Yeah. Neil, it's not it's not suitable for the show. I gotta okay. tell you after the show. Norman Fair says CCP propaganda department is so clueless that they used the DiCaprio meme backwards. <laughs> yeah, they did. Which what's that? With the DiCaprio meme with the, the USB C. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they did. Mm-hmm. Anthony Saints, need a larger size of t-shirts next time. 2XL only fits on one of my arms. I'm sorry, Anthony. We get that all the time. That's just how it is. And you got to you yeah. gotta work on getting it on your arm. And it's true, though. For the Dude, other arm. Seriously, like though, this. like uh, these, these shirts are made in England, though. They are. English people are huge. Yeah, that's pretty big. I got an XL, and it's massive. So, so he must be like a either a massive bodybuilder or like a guy. huge bodybuilder or one yeah. of those guys that they need a crane to take out of the bed when they die. Well, let's not impose our judgment. I'm just saying he's one of those two because yeah. those are going to be big. Yeah, sure. If you're a big muscle dude, you're yeah, he's probably a big. I'm, I'm I'm betting he's like you know Arnold Schwarzenegger I bet. level. I bet. You know the thing is in China though, you buy like an XL and it's like a small. <laughs> it's you like know what I mean? It's like what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 2MCNA2, gently press that like button. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you, Can yeah, you we'd that appreciate that. We'd appreciate it. XVL, oh, let's check the, uh, just real quick. I want to check the uh, campaign. Oh, the sales, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's probably done. Oh, it's like literally oh, at the wow. end. It's literally right at the end, guys. Last you guys, freaking moment. You guys are epic. We we, yeah. we got like, what, a good We're, 30 sales or something. Yeah, from that push. That's we amazing. really appreciate that. You guys are incredible. So thank cool. you so much it's still pinned in the comments or in the chat mm-hmm. so you have like probably minutes now to buy but it. seriously thank but yeah, you thank so you. much and we guarantee that this is the only run of this shirt that'll ever be yep. made so it is limited edition it is really for real yeah. uh just got done with a medical scare xva oh. um happy to join the show tonight have a beer on me and don't forget to join us on discord if you have uh if you're in the patron thank you very much wink wink Thank you. And uh, holy crap, Sorry. medical scares, they turn your life upside down, don't they? Yeah. So Sorry about that. Have a good recovery. Yeah. Pleb says, I drink a Mr. Brown coffee on the way to work every day because Taiwan number yuan. <laughs> I used to drink a Mr. Brown coffee Dude, on, I love the way, Mr. Brown. on the way to work to Taiwan every day yeah. in Taiwan. I used to buy Mr. Brown in China because they still sold it there. Oh, yeah, I like Mr. Brown coffee a lot. It's different in Taiwan. Yeah. It's different. Yeah. I had it there too. But yeah. I like it. Yeah, yeah. We had tons yeah. of it. I like Boss coffee from Japan too. Always tastes like cigarette ass to me. What boss coffee? Yeah. You're getting the wrong one. They got no. so many different types. Yeah, but the black one, the boss black taste. I don't like drink black ash. coffee out of the can. Are you oh, joking? Okay. We Ugh. did when. We... Oh yeah, I wasn't in Japan with you. Yeah. yeah. No black did black coffee there. out of a can. Give you a break, bro. It's like it's supposed to be like a tasty beverage. I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, that makes sense. The coating okay. chicken says Ugh, black coffee out of a freaking can. It's bad. It's it, t- it literally tastes like cigarette ash. Yeah, because it's usually cold. Yes. You know what I mean? It's a cold black coffee out of a can. I just tell me yeah. about that. You know, in Japan though, the vending machines you could choose hot or cold. Yeah, super yeah, sweet. That's like true. they <gasps> like pop out a hot can for you. And you're like, yeah, <clears throat> you know, it's cool. It's nice. The coding chicken says, "Buy." Oh, sorry. Hey, the Huawei ho- phone has one thing over the Apple. It allows China to make sure you're safe all day. Yeah, <laughs> I love your show. Thank you. Al Hollywood says, uh, hey, gents, happy to be a longtime supporter. Please ignore the alt-right and Russian bots. Oh, don't worry. We don't pay attention to anything going on. Thank you. Except for the names I recognize. I pay attention to you guys. Yeah. Matt Peter says, much love from Michigan. And much love to Michigan. Hmm. Uh, Magistar Generalis, good afternoon, gentlemen. Do you guys know anything about Brixton bikes? I have heard about them, yeah. Brixton bikes. Uh, I want to get one, but they're built in China because of the stigma. I'm scared for the quality. And the quality will be poor. Yeah, don't do it. No, don't buy a Chinese-made bike. I hate to say yeah. this, but we've talked, we've gone through this. We worked in the industry. We, we did it. Yeah. And we went to the best suppliers in China. We got their best money. We paid for them out of our own pocket, obviously. Yeah, yeah we didn't get free stuff. Yeah, we bought... The like very expensive bikes, the best ones. Yeah, and the, we've seen all across. Yeah, we've the seen range. the whole spectrum, and 
they still sucked. Yeah. I'm sorry to say, but you're going to you're going to run into trouble. And people who have been into bikes as long as as we have, you know, like mm. you can get a '70s Honda. Mm cheap that'll be more reliable and last longer than yeah. a brand new chinese don't, bike that you buy now just if i wouldn't you have do it. the option just don't do yeah. it just don't just do it. you know take take it from us you're just gonna have a headache after headache if you yeah. buy a cheap chinese bike it's rubbish it'll just keep falling apart and guess what especially if you buy one in the west where it's yeah. like not a mass produced thing it's mass produced in china but how are you gonna get parts of people to work on it for yeah, you if yeah. you don't know what you're doing yourself if you buy a more of these fancier ones that come from china they're still going to have issues and the problem is they're going to have issues when you least expect them, and it's dangerous. Yeah. You don't want your foot peg to snap off when no. you jump over a little bump or something. Guess what? It's happened. It's happened to Dude. us multiple times. Remember like Ching Chi or whatever, and they had like proper production model. Yeah. And the front yoke just broke off. Remember that buddy of ours? My Chinese bike, the, the foot yeah. peg did shear off when yes. it stood up over a bump. <laughs> yes. We've had bad things yes. happen. So yeah, we'll just suggest no. Yeah, of course, the quality keeps improving, but it's never going to be up to the same standards as a Japanese bike or, no. you know, a, a German bike or something. So rather save yourself headaches in the future, spend a little more or just buy a good secondhand one. Because you know what? Bikes, they're not like cars. They can last forever and they're super cheap to fix in yeah. comparison to cars. You can replace you know I mean? everything. Just put in a freaking engine if you yeah. have to or a new frame or whatever. It doesn't, you can do it yourself, you know? Rafa Harley says, imagine Winston and Seamalk rocking a mullet. Have a borosaku of a weekend, dudes. Yeah, you know what? Like, I got a picture of myself when I'm about 14, and I have pretty much a mullet. Yeah, I think hey, it's hey, just hey, me. Well, I mean, you know, it's just like slick back, but it's still shoulder length. Yeah, but it wasn't all different lengths. A yeah, mullet yeah. is short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It and wasn't. Long. It's, it's kind of like an attempted It was mullet. an attempt. I got you. Uh, Marcel Lara. I'll, I'll dig up that picture. I'll show it on the show. It's mad embarrassing. Marcel Lara says, people that don't know any Indian Americans tend to refer them as Native Americans because they think it's offensive, while Indian Americans don't care. Well, you know, we'll take it with a whatever. Yeah, it's, it's like red Indians, you know. I know, like, you can't call your baseball teams or something like Redskins or something. Yeah, that's offensive. Yeah. You yeah, know? I suppose yeah. so. Yeah. So that, was, that wasn't a baseball team. Oh, what was it? It was the... Uh, Football team. NFL oh, it's a football team. team. Okay. Yeah, now they're the yeah. Washington Commanders, which mm. is pretty cool. Yeah, that sounds bad. You, know you know what it was? <laughs> yeah, it sounds better than Redskins. <laughs> yeah, no. The hell yeah. were they thinking? Yeah, exactly. Anyway, when they went from Washington Redskins to the transition to Washington Commanders, which is awesome, there for a while were called the Washington football teams. <laughs> you know, and NFL is very clear on mascot. You yeah, have yeah, your mascot yeah, 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 your thing. yeah. You know what? I was thinking about mascots the other day because um, we were having that chat. And I was like, dude, furries are mainstream in America. They're freaking mascots, bro. For sonas, they're everywhere. They're mascots. Yeah. It's true. Wow. Pleb says, hmm. daily reminder that West Taiwan is unceded Iroquois land. What? Okay. Yeah, okay. Charles Platt, thank you very much. Darth Witcher says, do you think she will ever put himself above Mao and replace uh, Mao's legacy with his own? I think there's potential. I, he's trying to do that. He's In a way. He's, definitely, he's, he's emulating everything Mao did. He's also reducing the impact of other leaders. Not Mao, but other leaders. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think he uses Mao as like a, a crutch, you know? People compare him to Mao and people respect Mao. So he wouldn't get rid of Mao. Yeah? Erratic Fox says, bought my shirt nine hours before it closed. That's oh, awesome. Feels based in Chad Pilled. Can I get Sea Milk's favorite bit? You know, long pig. Oh, oh. yeah, dude. Makes me excellent long pig is good long pig is so bad <laughs> so bad mm -hmm. koala 1203 says that camera for huawei mate 60 looks like a knockoff click wheel from the original ipod yeah we said that. we th we thought that immediately mm -hmm. when we saw it it just looks like an ipod but the thing also looks like it belongs in a toilet it's like, like a like japanese a, toilet yeah it's, it looks you know the colors and the yeah. texture and everything it looks like it's supposed to be in a bathroom it's a bathroom device yes yes yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the still the classic iPod still operates better than a new crappy uh, Huawei phone. It's true; those things actually do last. Yes. Uh, oh yeah, says we should vote on whether we get wild subtitles on the China Show live streams. We need this Holy technology, crap, guys. Crap, dude, it's awful. <laughs> it's so terrible. Bad. Why would you want to not see what's happening? Yeah, because it blocks your view. Anyway, you know what else is really popular in China? Like these synopsis of like movies oh, like dude. five minutes like tell you the whole plot why do yeah. you want that yeah and they they play it in like a hyper speed it's yeah. very irritating but why would you want that Wait, do you want to watch the movie yeah i i guess 
my wife was watching this is still back in china she yeah. doesn't do that anymore but yeah. i think we were going to go see like a new star wars movie or something okay. so she wanted to know what it was all about so she watched uh, all the previous but there's like one or two minute uh, things and it's just like I guess look at a look at a you know whatever it's just like what? i could see from that perspective yeah. but i feel like you just better watch holy crap was i getting irritated there because <laughs> it's literally like someone speed reading something in a monotone voice yeah. and i'm like this has to stop <laughs> you know? holy crap jeb says how long do you think it ta- will take for the newest uh huawei phone to get banned like the samsung galaxy note 7 who knows yeah, dude. I mean, the thing is, it's obvi- people are having a lot of issues with it overheating and getting really hot. So the chances of it actually starting to catch fire are quite high. Yeah. We'll see. Pleb says, sing a line from the Sitong Bridge song, Sea Milk. I don't remember that song. I don't remember the lyrics. Is there a song? Oh, yeah, there Yeah, is. there was a song. Yeah, I don't remember. Remember, they, like, banned the song. Yeah. Because- oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't remember what that was. Yeah. Hector Backus, hello, Sir Presetti. Do you support the West South Africa cede- seceding? It's West impossible, South- right? Oh, you mean the Western Cape? I mean, yeah, sure, but it's not possible. <laughs> For sure. It's one of those things, you know. Uh, Western pleb. Cape's like Cape Town and all that. Yeah, I get it. Uh, They're a little bit more switched on than the rest of the country as far as like infrastructure. and. Yeah, it's but it's because like it's tourism. Yeah, that's true. Pleb says the Chinese secret police badge looks like a Chinese knockoff itself. <laughs> Lol. Seriously, that Sitong Bridge man was the hero of our times. Yes. Uh, Dragonilla says, Winston, show the stickers on your cup. Okay. I got a couple of randos here. I got my uh, Megazone 2.3 because I backed a Kickstarter to get a new Blu-ray of that. Um, I got a. This is an original Amiga sticker from back in the day. Nice. Uh, so very. Abusive. Yeah, very good friend of mine who's part of the a big Amiga club actually sent it to me, along with an incredible Commodore 64 that he he built for me. Wow. Which is like the best thing in my entire collection because it's like the most amazing commodore 64 you've ever seen in your life i'll have to do something about it in the, in the future and i got a bunch of other nonsense on here too so i gave yeah. you one why didn't you talk about that oh you mean the With yeah where you headlights. you went to go visit a place called gay headlights so that's what this is there's a sticker which you say gay headlight yeah gay headlight i was hanging out in martha's vineyard and <laughs> oh, yeah. i saw i went to gay headlight yeah and i saw it and i said <laughs> that is the best winston i could ever get uh, sticker? sticker for Winston I could ever get him. <laughs> okay, I don't know what you're trying to imply, but you know. <laughs> yeah. A bunch of other nonsense on here, and I'll, I'll keep adding as I get things. That's true. Uh, my nipples are my choice, says. <laughs> okay. What the? Here we go. Yeah. Uh, with India's killing of that Chi- uh, Canadian citizen, are Indian nationalists giving off a vibe similar to Han Chinese? They have their own tankies. Arrogant, aggressive, feel invincible because of their economic growth. It's a little different, uh, but again, yeah. I'm not super well versed in no, that. No, me whole neither. Thing. I do yeah. know that it's, if true, is very, very bad. It sets a very bad precedent. No, yeah. nobody should be doing that. No, I know, because now they're going to be like China. Yeah. Well, killing people abroad, you know? Yeah, which China does. Yeah, a, a lot. lot. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, they shouldn't stoop to mm. that level. Um, I found, because I've made a couple of videos on my channel that are about India and China, is that you get a very similar set of internet trolls from both countries. And I think they just kind of battle each other out all the time, you know. Yeah, it's just their India's internet isn't blocked. Isn't blocked, like, yeah. Yeah, India's a much, much, much freer country. Oh, but there's 100%. a lot of nationalism. Yeah, um, I'm I'm very fond of India. Mm. I like India a lot. Yeah. Ad Hall says, a U.S. law student here. Can you talk more about the criminal justice system? Which one? Mm, yeah. <laughs> you mean the lack of criminal justice? Yeah, the one in China. It's... Criminal injustice system? Yes, that's what it is. Uh, I understand that they well, use... Well, it's a justice system run by crim- criminals, so I guess it is a criminal Bingo. justice system. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah it is. Uh, I understand they use the inquisitorial system, like DE, unlike adversarial system in the U.S. Do you see this changing for worse? I absolutely do. In fact, I think we gave you proof yeah. about that earlier with the use of that law. Yeah. 800 cases of an arbitrary law. To 40,000. To 40,000, yeah. and that's a blanket law that covers yeah. everything, yeah. right? Yeah. Definitely innocent until proven guilty in the U.S. and the exact opposite. Yeah, guilty until proven innocent. And you're not proven innocent. And they don't even need to charge you. Until bribed innocent. They pick you up like that, you know, that friend of ours. They just picked him up for six months, didn't even charge him. Innocent, I would say guilty until bribed innocent. Yeah, guilty until guilty because like 99% of all cases are... 99.9. Yeah, 0.9 are guilty. Yeah. Uh, You already... Pleb. Yeah, but we'll talk about that whenever we can. <clears throat> yeah. Pleb, speaking of the color green, do you think she wears a green hat? Uh, Hardy yeah. horror horror. Uh, P.S. Conquering series is excellent, and I think Thank Sea you. Milk. Uh, Winston and Sea Milk should be pianists. What? It, a what pianist? 
What? Where does that come from? I don't, I don't know. I guess I could. I could play a little piano. Yeah, I got a little keyboard, a little, little um, you know. Uh, J.R. Williams, how bad are the summer floods on China's economy? Probably really bad, but guess what? We'll never know. It, it's got to be devastating. Yeah. The amount of damage and rebuilding and crops lost and everything, you know? Mm. The amount of cars and stuff that were just destroyed. Huge. Huge. Mm. Uh, Hugo Sick 33 keep up the great job, guys. You're my favorite YouTube couple. Cheers from Brazil. Shout Thank out you. to Brazil. Yeah, Web. Brazil is great. And shout out to Brazil for uh, strengthening U.S. ties. And for keeping the Sega Master System alive till this day. It's a different topic. <laughs> We've done yeah. that show about now. Yeah. Uh, Pleb, is seven-story walk-up or TX salesman poor? <laughs> <laughs> that is, I'm laughing yeah. because that is so specific, but <laughs> yes. anybody in China would understand yeah, yeah, that, yeah, exactly. like, diss. Yeah. It it's is. not like a diss that, it's just, you would understand it. Yeah. You know what I mean? That yeah, guy's so poor, he sells TX. Like, that yeah. would be a thing. That guy probably lives in a seven-story <laughs> walk-up. Walk yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, uh, definitely a TX salesman would be poor. They would you know, they wouldn't even live in a seven story walk up. They'd no. have some dorm in like a, yeah, if that you yeah know. could be homeless. Yeah, Koala twelve oh three. Can I get a four K remastered mm -hmm. THX sound, surround sound version of Chinese guy tied to a crucifix getting blasted by Japanese tanks? Oh, you certainly can. Let's get it up here. could technically be in 4k if we found the original film <laughs> sure, sure you know what i mean technically yeah yeah i feel like it would be torture to watch that film i would love to watch that yeah film. but we'll watch it we've watched some bad i don't bad know what Chinese film it films. is yeah do you know no oh we'll find it we can keep looking ben molnar says my dad went to china with his chinese girlfriend a month or so ago and the way back he got stuck in hong kong during the floods but he made it back all right love the vids shout out cool. to your dad yeah uh Good he made it out matthew booth says i miss you Ho this week so this is me making it up can i get a house pick of sound clip a house pick a house pick what do you want oh i'll let you go for it you okay know, you know i'll always choose some of the newer things all right so nothing would bother me anymore <laughs> would have chosen that That's i know okay. so That's you get you pick. get to choose one it surprised me all right yeah that's fine that's good fine. enough good house yeah. pick cool um i know you really wanted this one now would you like me to be the cat I'm so tired Just, of seeing that guy, dude. <laughs> yeah. i'm so sick of that yeah, man yeah quality he's everywhere yeah dude. yeah he's with literally the shills. everywhere mm -hmm. and every time I'm, I'm not surprised to see who he's with but it always manages just to kind of surprise me yep quality 1203 i heard in the news that the indian government is considering renaming india to Bharat. i was wondering if the ccb had thoughts of renaming china to Zhongguo, Zhonghua. uh it would, it would be called Zhongguo in china oh yeah it'd be interesting because like turkey renamed like you know the and uh es eswatini that mm -hmm. changed so countries do do that to so like the native Namibia name. was Southwest Africa. Yeah, See, it happens. So maybe Zimbabwe was Rhodesia. Yeah, Rumner message retracted. I guess he had another bad joke. Yeah, probably. Ad Hall, what do you guys think of US cozying up to Vietnam? I think it's fantastic. It's great. Uh, we actually like Vietnam a lot. Yeah, I you know. do. Th I do criticize the leadership. Oh, I yeah. think the government is very restrictive, but it is not even close to China's level. We had yet. a great time there. We had a bunch. We did a bunch of ADV China videos yeah. there. Very um, nice people. And we think that Vietnam now is like the China when we first got there. It's yeah. got that same vibe, you know. It's that like same, opening up to the world, you know. The growth. The growth. It does. Uh, it could use some liberalization yeah. in the government. But there's friendliness yeah, there, friendly. you know. It's uh, it's cool. It's a good thing. Two yeah. MCNA two. Can you tell us your honest opinions about yeah, iPhone versus Android? Which do you prefer? Absolutely, iPhone. I've got me. both. Um, I'm a huge android guy i i always have a google pixel mm -hmm. i always like as it's bleeding edge you get the latest things and i gotta say that the iphone beats it down hands down on stability like if you just want something that's really reliable really easy to use and really reliable and really like some some like little kid can use it to take a great photo or whatever but if you want like to tweak around and have extra features and stuff <laughs> android is cool what's that <laughs> yeah like tweak or tweak i mean you tweak, know, I know you know, mean, not, I know. not like as in you know like the <laughs> no, street no. zombies i'm that's, saying that's you know? been i'm not talking life. street zombies i'm yeah. talking about like yeah i love android and i'll always have um pixel phones yes make yeah. sure to check your sources is that a threat to mc <laughs> yeah. my source is that i made it the f up <laughs> yeah so yeah yeah Pleb, I look literally look. That's probably my new favorite sound. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's so good. It's so it makes me happy because I love Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, yeah. And it's just oh. Yeah. Pleb, I literally look forward to you guys' show every week. Thank you. F it. I'm gonna be a Xiaobanho from today. Wow. I guess.
Yes, thanks for all you do. We love well, we'd love to have you, you on board, and I promise you're gonna absolutely. If you like what we do, you're gonna love Shabbat No. Yeah, it's a humorous time. Yeah, I can't wait to see you there. Thank you, and thank you for your generosity. Rum Runner with another message retracted. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow, you got good some good joke. jokes today. Uh, Mont, that's not us doing it. That's him. Yeah, I know. Uh, I just wanted the audience to know we're not deleting. Sure, yeah. we don't do that. Montauk says, currently in selection for piloting in the military. Mm. <clears throat> the wow. hours of content kept me sane while studying Godspeed, gentlemen. Godspeed to you. That's, that's awesome. That's fantastic. You're going to be the next Top Gun? Proud of you. Yeah, that's epic. Joe, y'all good at China stuff. My name's Joe. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> QMCNA2 says, I bought the black and white China show shirts uh, for 69. <laughs> okay. Caress the like button. Nice watch, Matt. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate that. This yeah, that's a actually a very, special very special watch. Yeah, it's a it's a Soviet watch. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally from the Soviet Union. It you, is. You bought it for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. But um, we, it's the, a caveat. The, yeah, the interesting thing is that we bought it from Ukraine. Yes. <laughs> so you buy these Soviet watches from Ukraine. You're supporting Ukraine against Russia yeah. for for a Russian for a, item. Yeah, from like the the eighties. It's an eighties yeah. Soviet watch. Very cool. Yeah. It's called the Raketa. Yeah. Uh, and it's got a calendar on it. It's freaking very cool. Yeah, I like how it's got like the 90s. It's also mad loud. Can you guys hear this? I wonder if they can hear that. I wonder. It's yeah. It's a very specific. It's a very cool. It's tape. mechanical. It's so, all mechanical. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Love it's the awesome. watch. Thank you very much. Yeah, brother. no worries. Bought it, bought it a while ago. Mm-hmm. Um, Rum Runner, uh, I, am, I refuse to take martial arts classes because... I'm not. I'm not reading this anymore. Why, what did he say? Because I'm not reading it. I'm not reading it anymore. <laughs> okay. Are you sure? Could be really hilarious. You understand what he's what he's saying here, right? Yeah. I mean, it's it's fine. It's just I'm tired of cringing out the Chinese audience. Okay. All he right. said I refuse to take martial arts classes because they're too expensive. Yeah. I'm not paying to learn eagle claw technique when I've already mastered Tia Gongji. Yeah. Which is like steel the metal cock. rooster. Metal cock. <laughs> steel rooster. Metal okay. cock. Cock steel as in rooster. rooster. Yeah, steel <laughs> rooster. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. they don't shed feathers. It means a, a miserly person. Yeah. Dude, did I ever tell you there was this American guy um, who was an English teacher that I met in China. And um, he was at the kindergarten... And one of the teaching assistants came up to him and said, can you, can you borrow me a rubber? <laughs> and he was like, okay. And he reached in his wallet and he gave her a condom. <laughs> because, you know, in, in British English, yeah, yeah, an, eraser, I, I know an eraser is a rubber. I know, because I know England. But yeah, no, they yeah. say rubber. You say eraser. rubber. Like it's, I grew up in South Africa, we call it a rubber. Um, and in America, apparently condom is a rubber. So. It, yeah, it's... Not really used anymore, but it used to be. Okay. You know, no one would call it a racer that, but I'm saying it's like maybe 80s. But I mean, like this dude, he's in the kindergarten and in front of all these kids. He's like 40 something years old. Give it to this teaching assistant. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the little little, like 18, 19 year old teaching assistant. Yeah. Yeah, At least it wasn't a kid. Yeah. But I mean, in front of all the kids. Yeah. That's rough. I'm like, dude. What an idiot. What an idiot. Like, what? Why would you do that? It's yeah. A toss yeah. It's a, it's a, a word, toss right? pot. Yeah. yeah a toss pot. The wanker, an investment the wanker. banker. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to use Britishisms because he didn't yeah. know. Anyway, that was just, I just came to mind. Toss you know? him down a hill. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, toss him in a lake. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, remember, we, <laughs> what? <laughs> you remember back when YouTube was super sensitive, we got. Um, a, a video clip removed because you said jump in a lake or something. No, that wasn't YouTube. It was Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jump in a yeah, lake. I say jump in a lake. And they were like, <laughs> it was like advocating self harm. I'm like, what? It's, it's like, what the it hell? So yeah, it was. Like, I got nailed for jumping a lake and for calling someone an old fart. Yes, they said it was ageism. Yeah, ageism. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> anyway, yeah. AD Hall says perhaps a video idea then. Mm-hmm. Uh, criminal justice system? Um, no, we'll definitely do it at some point. You Sounds have, boring. You have to understand, we'd rather depress. We'd rather pepper it in with yes. other things. We will definitely include it. Yeah. Always. Mm-hmm. Um, Bicet Ahavi says, still waiting for YouTube to exp- accept Bricks dollars. <laughs> <Lol. Yeah. laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, Baby Mind, thank you. J.R. Williams, thoughts on India, Europe infrastructure deal? Uh, not a whole lot of th- thoughts, but I did. it did come across my radar, so I'll, I'll look into it for yeah. sure. Uh, we started to try to stay well informed on pretty much everything, but it's we can't get to everything. It's mostly yeah. China stuff. Uh, thank you guys for supporting us. By the way, I'm just mm-hmm. going to check one more time before we go. 
I want you to remember, by the way, that you should join Xiaoban Ho. It's been so fun recently. Yeah, if you, you join if you have the means, you, you know, of course. Um, I just want to check here. It lo- forty. Oh, there's forty three minutes left in the. How did uh, it? How did it suddenly add another forty three minutes? I it feel didn't, like it didn't add it on. Oh. I thought you said there was only an hour left. Were you I lying? No, I can't judge it because oh. it's it's so such a general window. Now okay. it's getting down to the minute, so it's giving me minutes. Okay, now. I was yeah. guessing it was an, obviously an hour or something. Okay, uh, now it's forty three minutes left, so you guys have very very limited window to get. Okay, and there, that's sure. and I can see it. It does say yeah, forty three minutes 43 left. Minutes. So you're not like it's not like Microsoft minutes when you start yeah, to copy something. Guess. Yeah, yeah. It's mm. Like oh, it says six hours remaining and three days later. Yeah, that type going. of thing. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Thank you, everybody, for joining Thank us you, today. Adiel. We very much appreciate you being here, supporting us by watching the show. And we can't wait to see you next time. Now, I'm supposed to be releasing a video this weekend, but man, we'll see. We'll see. I'll be trying my best. It should be out. If it's going to be out, it'll be out on Sunday. If it's not out on Sunday, I promise you it'll be out by Tuesday at the latest. You know, so one of the two, depending on how things work out. Sounds good. Either way, hope you have a fantastic week. We'll see you, Shaban Ho, guys, on Monday. It's going to be a lot of fun. And have a fantastic weekend, no matter what you're doing, and stay awesome. And I'm not going to cut myself off. Let's try.